Hello? Hold on. I gotta... I've been, like, pretty lazy about... Um... Publishing VODs. Because, <laughs> like... Uh... Um, let me see. Six, seven... I'm seven... VODs behind... On, on YouTube, at least. Uh... You can see them anytime on Twitch, I think, uh, or at least I think they're still there. Yeah, all the way back until November 28th, uh, which was Xenoblade Day still. Anyway, I was just closing Pokemon Sleep on my phone, and uh, I realized the whole reason I opened up my phone, or unlocked my phone, was... To, uh, play Fate Grand Order a little bit, but, uh, didn't do that at all. Uh, anyway, um, I was playing this a little bit earlier today. I don't know if my, I don't, my main party right there, uh, hasn't leveled up that much. Um, but they might have leveled up a tiny bit, but I do have, like, new monsters. I was leveling these guys earlier to 10. Uh, <laughs> and then I have, like, a bunch of... Oh, I made this Iron Maiden. I was talking about this last night before I quit. I was like, <coughs> I'll have an Iron Maiden uh, next time I come back. And I spent like a good bit of time just like synthesizing one, resetting the game. Because I was trying to get the little, like the little icon in the bottom left, the like the Meowgician has. Uh, which is like when they sparkle after you breed them or synthesize them, whatever. Um... And, uh, like, I looked at some guides last night to, like, uh, not, like, guides on, like, like, I didn't want to spoil myself on monsters and their, like, you know, routes to breeding them, but I was, like, I read a, a couple guides that explain how the systems work and stuff like that, because I was, like, before I got the sparkles, I was, like, can I, is the sparkles random, or is it, like, dependent on... The parents or like what exactly does and then what does it do because it says like makes your monster stronger but it doesn't explain how or why or what <coughs> uh so i was like trying to find that answer and then i ended up just finding a, like a synthesis guide and was reading um about just how it all works uh and uh, i learned a little bit uh and the sparkles apparently mean that your lowest stat has a higher cap, uh, like an increased cap, uh, which I was like, okay, I don't know if that'll ever matter to me, because I don't know if I'll be hitting the cap, um, and it is random, and it's not like, and you can reset to get it, so I was like, okay, cool, like, well, I, I wasn't sure about that, uh, like the guide, the guides that I looked at, um, they said it was random, <laughs> but none of them said like, oh, you can uh, reset until you get it, uh, cause I, like, yeah, I don't know, I wasn't sure if it was, like, the next, like, if there's, like, a system in the background that's, like, keeping track of your breeding, and it's, like, okay, the next thing you breed is going to have sparkles or not, and then, you know, if you breed and don't get it, like, like, if, almost like they're fixed, um, what's the word, like, they're seeded, I guess, that's a better word, so, like, you might have, like, a breeding, um, like seed and so like the next thing you're going to breed is or isn't going to have sparkles no matter what and then so if you breed and then reset you're always going to get no sparkles on the next one if you don't get sparkles or you're going to get sparkles on the next one if you do get sparkles but anyway uh i was just like nothing really said how that worked it just said it was random but like i said it didn't say if there was like a seed or not or whatever uh so i just kind of like sat here for like half an hour just uh, very passively breeding, um, an Iron Maiden. So I would, like, synthesize one, it would come out, no sparkles, and I would reset the game. Uh, but it was, like, very, very, like, I was not, like, sitting here just, like, you know, constantly paying attention. I was, like, I was watching, um, <coughs> Gaki no Tsukai, like, oh, what's well, called, like, Father Jimmy, Father underscore Jimmy underscore is the channel on Twitch, but it's, like, a 24-hour stream of, like, the the downtown guys, or, or whatever, the Gaki no Tsukai, like, gang, uh, and it's not always, like, the, uh, 
I mean, they're, I, well, I don't know. I, like, it's not always boxy game stuff, um, but it's, like, them doing stuff, like, different, like, episodes or whatever, uh, different, um, programs they did. Uh, and it's very funny. Like, I remember hearing about that existing, uh, while watching Vinny, um, and meaning to look it up, and then I didn't until last night, and, because I was like, I was, nothing, no one was streaming that I wanted to watch, uh, GDQ hadn't started yet, it started today, uh, which I watched a little bit of that, and it was very annoying, <laughs> um, but, uh, uh, yeah, I was just like, what do I watch, and I was like, oh, that, there's that Gaki no Tsukai, like, 24-hour stream, well, let me check that out, and, uh, I found it, watched it, uh, and was just like, Having a good time. It was fun. Those guys are very funny. <clears throat> and then, yeah, then just like sitting here synthesizing monsters over and over again. <clears throat> um, but yeah, and then, uh, then what? Oh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, then I was watching GDQ earlier today, and like, I woke up, uh, I don't know what time I actually went to sleep, but, uh, I woke up at like 10 or like 10.30. Uh, and I was like, oh, GDQ started, so I put it on, watched it for, like, five minutes, and fell back asleep. Uh, and then I woke up at, like, 11.50, and I was like, alright, like, I gotta feed my Snorlax, and, you know, I should just get up and get something to eat, you know, whatever. <clears throat> and then, uh, yeah, then I was, like, just had the stream on in the background as I was playing this to, uh, synthesize a bunch of different monsters. Like, I made a Dark Slime, uh, Dark Slime King. Uh, a bunch of other things. Uh, I'm about to like synthesize some more, but um, yeah, just like doing that. And the uh, Donkey Kong 64 uh, speed run was on, and it was so obnoxious. It was like I was just like, bro, this is these guys are not funny, uh, and the announcer is not funny. Uh, the like, and this is every GDQ every year has this problem. Uh, it's just like. I don't know. They they try too hard to be funny, and like, I don't know. Uh, like I I'm just, like I I don't know if it's like a conspiracy to say, but like it feels like GDQ is full of bots, like the chat and stuff. Uh, or or I don't know, cause like these jokes are not funny at all, and these like their bits that they're doing, like in in uh Donkey Kong Donkey Kong 64, they do that oh banana thing or whatever. <clears throat> and these guys are like yelling it every time and the announcer is like reading off like donations that are just like all the donations are just like oh banana and like just like it was just so annoying and i was like bro like how does it like how no one in the chat is complaining about it i'm assuming because they're banned or something like the people who would complain about it are banned or getting timed out like i saw like some people getting timed out immediately for complaining or like you know saying like shut up stop saying that you know it's not funny whatever um but like 99 percent of the comments are like you know lul faces and <laughs> that's my wife uh what's up honda thank you um i appreciate it <coughs> uh she's loud yes <laughs> it, like it's good though um I need to add more. I was talking about it just like a minute ago. I well, not about that, but uh, prefer OTK yourself. Wait, what are you talking about? For uh, GDQ, what? Um, I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I don't know. There's like a bunch of stuff I gotta do. Like I have a bunch of VODs just sitting in my YouTube that I've been meaning to publish. Um. Much GDQ games done quick. It's this uh, marathon, speedrunning marathon that happens. Uh, there's one in the winter and then one in the summer, uh, but it's like a week long event where it's just like a bunch of speedruns. Um, and uh, it's I don't know. It gets worse every year, <laughs> and I I watch it every time. It's like it's fun because it's just like uh, there's some cringe, some cool, uh, and it's just like I don't know. 24 hours for a week straight. So I just like have it on in the background for that week. 
um, which it started this morning. Um, but anyway, these guys were playing Donkey Kong 64, and it was just like the most annoying run I've seen in a long time. Uh, so I was just complaining about that. They're like they were very unfunny. The chat was just like. I don't know. Like I was, I was saying, I, I feel like a conspiracy theorist because it felt like the chat was full of bots, and I don't know. Like, cause I, I don't, I, I, I was like, I don't understand how you can find any of this funny, uh, and like nobody's complaining or or they're getting timed out, but it's like very few people, and I, I don't know. I was just like, bro, this is not real. <laughs> Um, but, I don't know, it could be that, like, because it's, like, such a popular event or whatever that, like, so many people are coming in and out that they come in and they hear the joke and they laugh at it and they leave before it gets old and annoying like it was for me. Uh, because it was, like, a two hour long run, so, like, I had been hearing the same joke over and over again for, like, two hours <coughs> or less because, like, I started getting annoyed with it after, like, 20 minutes because it's just, like, the same joke over and over again. But anyway. Uh, it was annoying, and uh, I was just like, how, how do people... And my internet died. The internet, like, literally just cut out for, like, half an hour or so in the middle of it. And I was kind of relieved, because I was like, man, like, that was very annoying. But then I was like, I want, like, when the internet cut out, I was like, okay, like, I want to watch something else now, though. Like, I finally actually want to change, you know, change the channel, uh, and I can't, um... But, uh, <clears throat> anyway, what else did I watch or do? I didn't really do anything today. Like I said, I just played this game, uh, synthesizing monsters over and over, and over again for a couple hours. Um, and it was annoying too, cause like I was finishing up in this game when the internet died and I was getting, getting ready to play Final Fantasy 14 and then the internet died and I was like, well now I'm stuck playing this game some more and I started falling asleep. Like I was like, I was so ready to be done. Like I had spent so much time just doing the same grind over and over again to get more and more monsters. And I was like, bro, I just want to <laughs> play something else. But the internet's not working, so I can't play 14, which is all I want to play. Or Limbus Company, which is another online. I could have played it on my phone, I guess, but I don't want to play it on my phone if I'm at my PC. Um, but yeah. But anyway. Um, <clears throat> what else? I guess that's it. Uh, haven't had ice cream yet today, which sucks. Uh, Cause I have that tub in the freezer, and I was thinking about getting some like before stream, but I didn't want to like deal with a reflux for like the first hour or two, um, or lactose intolerance. Uh, so I didn't. I'll just eat some afterwards. Have some pizza and ice cream. Um, anyway. Uh, Let me play. <laughs> hey, oh. What else can I talk about? Nothing, because uh, I didn't do anything else today. But I did, like I was saying, I didn't make any progress in this game, but I explored some of the maps a little bit and uh, opened up some treasure chests. Um, but I did breed some monsters, like I made a behemoth slime, I made a... Dark Slime and Dark Slime King, but he doesn't show up here, I guess, because I don't have... Oh, he's over here. How come he doesn't show up? I thought I made a gold one. I'm pretty sure I made a gold one, so I'm not sure why the combo is not showing up. I used two Dark Slimes, and it made Dark, sli dark King Slime. Um, make Dark Slime Magician Girl. Uh, I would if I could. Oh, that's one thing I was going to talk about. Is uh, So I have my... I guess I can just... Oh, well, okay. One thing. I don't know when this guy showed up right here. But he has all my monsters for me. So I can switch my party out and stuff like that. I don't know how long he's been here. Uh, I hope it's like something new. And I haven't been wasting my time for like the last... I don't know, 20 hours or whatever. Because uh, I kept going all the way here to change my monsters out when that guy is like standing right there and does it for me. Make Gareth. 
I'm all about gear. You may not have heard of her. <clears throat> I was going to talk about, uh, like, I was saying last night or whatever, uh, that uh in the most recent lost belt uh i was i did read through some of her scenes even though like i have no idea what's going on and like the very last scene of hers that i read um at least everything like like because like this, this is what i do i play through i skip the story i do the battle and then i skip the story but at the beginning of the stories like if if there's a character i like just sitting there i'm like oh like a character i like is in the scene so i'm gonna read it or like you know watch it or whatever uh and uh there's a few of that like a few with gareth like that um and then uh the last one is very sad so there's your spoilers <coughs> and then uh what was it there's like a recent event or something oh no maybe it's just like her rank up quest or her interlude she has an interlude too that's also it's cute and sad um and i did that one whenever that came out recently don't spoil. <laughs> um, I'll spoil the interlude at least. <laughs> it's just an interlude. Um, the interlude, like, it's cute and sad because, like, it's a, uh, it's Berserker Lancelot in her. <clears throat> Burns your favorite Lost Ball so far? I think that's like the the common opinion. Because uh, like, it has like. All like all the characters in it are super popular, uh, and I figured it's because the Lost Belt itself is popular, like Morrigan and uh, Oberon, uh, and then all the fair. Well, I guess they're all fairies, <laughs> and then like um, the uh, like Tristan and uh, who else is it? Gawain. Wait, is there a Gawain one? I can't remember. I don't remember that. Like, I don't know which one is which. Uh, but, uh, whatever. All the fairies. <clears throat> um, and Castor Artoria and, uh, Gareth. Um, anyway, in the interlude, I won't, like, tell the whole thing, but it's just cute because it's, or it's, it's cute and sad because she's, like, she's scared of Berserker Lancelot. Uh, and she doesn't like being scared of him, uh, cause it's Lancelot. And, uh, and, like, the interlude is just her kind of, like, getting over that. And, like, it's cute, but also, like, it's, it's, I don't know, kind of sad. Cause, like, yeah, I don't know. It's cute, though. <laughs> um. Why did I come here? There's a reason. I was gonna show, yeah, I have this. <clears throat> I have my Iron Maiden now. Uh. And I didn't realize it's like she's tiny uh, compared to the one that's like running around in the world. And then I caught another one, not the boss one that's running around in the world, but um, I went to the mole hole uh, and there was a humongous one. And I was like, I need that. And so I caught it uh, here. She's large. Let's do that. I have to leave and come back. But uh, when I saw like the difference in size, I was like, "What the heck?" Like, I didn't know mine was so small. Cause like, I seen the big boss one in the overworld and was like, "Okay, that's huge." But like, I thought that was like, I thought that was default size. I didn't know like, I didn't think that the bosses would be gigantic. Um, I thought the bosses in the like the mini bosses on the worlds in the in the maps or whatever. Um, or like their normal size or something like that, uh, and it might be. And then that mine, mine is just very, very small. And I looked, at, I looked up what the differences are. But see, like this one is huge. So like this is the one that I caught recently. It's an L size too, because uh, I saw another big one, but it wasn't. It was like half the size of this one, uh, and I thought that one was big. Like the the sh smaller one was big because it was taller than me. Uh, and I was like, okay, that's like, that's pretty big. And then I went to fight it and it wasn't L size. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. But I killed it. And then I ran around and that one spawned and I was like, wow, that's huge. But this is the one that I made. <laughs> the one that like, I was like, just like breeding monsters. And then I was like, okay, I want this Iron Maiden. And she popped out and, uh, I was like, all right, cool. And then I went into fights and I was like, oh, she's like, you know, the same size as my other monsters. So that kind of makes sense. But then like, I came in here and I was like, wait, no, she's like puny. Cause like. 
My meow magician, my meow magician, my meow magician is like, I don't know, up to my chest. My king slime, well, when he's not sleeping, he's like almost up to my chest. Uh, what else? There's another. My little dark saber cub. He's kind of small, but he's like, I don't know, he's a cub, so he's supposed to be small. And then, yeah, then I was like, I saw my Iron Maiden, and I was like, what the heck? She's like puny. Uh, because the, the only Iron Maiden I had seen up to that point was like this big. And uh, so I was just like expecting it to be bigger. But then, then I got this one. But this one, so like I looked up what the difference between the L sizes and the S sizes are, because... It says the L sizes have like more HP and MP and stuff in the game and they have like other stat changes and I wanted to know what that meant. Um, and the L sizes do have, they have 50% more HP and MP than uh, the small ones. <coughs> and they come with a, an ability that makes them attack two or three times. Well, at least mine does. Uh, it has like an ability that lets her attack two or three times in a turn. But then it lowers all the rest of her stats to like balance that out kind of so i was like well that kind of sucks and like um looking at the numbers and all that stuff and like in guides and stuff it was saying like l sizes uh are like balanced in a way that it's like it's just up to your preference like if you want an l size in your party uh it is better and worse in some ways than having two small sizes of something um and it's like, it's just like up to you because L sizes are more resistant to uh, statuses and stuff like that. Um, but their stats are lower. And uh, if they get like, if they do get affected by a status, then you're basically out two party members because they take up two slots. Whereas if you had two small monster and one of them got, you know, put to sleep, the other one would still be awake and you can keep attacking with it. Um, but yeah, and so I was like, well, that's kind of it's cool that they like bounced it in a way that's, you know, good and <laughs> not just like, oh, I can like, there's no reason to having this small Iron Maiden because the big one is superior in every, in every way. Um, it's just up to me if I want it or not. Um, anyway, uh, I like this game. Uh, like the more I read about all the different systems and like learn about them more in depth. Um, I was like more into it. Uh, anyway, I don't. Oh, I guess I was gonna breed more monsters because I was like, I don't know what I want in my party, but <clears throat> I wasn't ready to move on. Anyway, um. Yeah, I don't know. Every time GDQ happens now, uh, every every event. So like the one in the winter is awesome. Games done quick. Summer one is summer games done quick. Uh, every time I'm just like, I can't wait till ESA, which is European Speedrunner Assembly, which is the same thing but in Europe, uh, and it's a lot smaller and more comfy, more fun, less like corporatized, I guess. Uh, cause GDQ is not like it's not corporate, but it's like. Every year they try harder and harder to make it more and more professional. And it's like, bro, it's just, it's speed running. It's, it's dudes playing video games. It's a bunch of people who like, I, I feel like you have to have, you have to be autistic. Uh, you have to be on the spectrum in some way to be a speed runner. So you have this event that's like dedicated to, <laughs> it's a week long event dedicated to letting, you know, autistic people play video games and uh and you're trying really hard to make it like this like very serious and you know i don't know no fun allowed kind of thing uh and uh yeah every year it's just like worse and worse um because <clears throat> this year they're having like they like or this like yeah this year there's like the schedule has like tons of things that are like interviews and like all these things that are like bro like they're just like going harder and harder every year unless Less runs and less, like, I don't know, less speedrunners on stream and more, like, more people at the charity that they're, you know, supporting. Uh, 
talking about you know the charity and it's like nobody cares like people don't need to hear you know your charity person talk for half an hour uh they're gonna throw their money at it anyway like it doesn't like stop wasting our time stop giving us stuff we don't care about um and apparently like the viewership is down uh quite a bit this year because people like track this like like statistics of like viewership and donations and stuff like that every year and uh they had a um, <clears throat> i saw a chart and it was like just the first day like today itself uh was like the worst in a few years or something like that um and i'm just like we gotta go back to like 2015 <clears throat> uh and uh you know just have fun because esa that's like esa is a lot smaller uh but it's the same thing in europe uh and they're it's like so much more fun like they just have more fun uh and uh make it more fun because like gdq is all like i don't know like nothing that's not on the script basically uh whereas esa is like they're prepared to do anything like stupid and fun and just like you know like there's no i don't know the only thing they try to do is follow the schedule of like making sure people get their runs in on time uh whereas gdq is like like esa like if a run's going over they're not stressing if a run is done way faster they're not stressing gdq is like if a run is like going over estimate they cut it off <laughs> and just like like they just they like sometimes they don't even like tell the streamer like or the runner like hey we're cutting you off it's just like the runner will be like yeah sorry this is you know i run i you know i keep getting unlucky at this part or whatever i can't get this trick or you know we're gonna go to a backup and like they're maybe like 20 minutes over and then the screen will just like transition to like the i don't know like in between run screen and then like you know 15 minutes later it goes back and it's like a new person so like the person who was running didn't even get told like hey we're killing your run or anything so they didn't they don't get to say like their uh <clears throat> i don't know goodbyes and shout outs and stuff like that and it's like man this sucks so bad whereas esa will be like if a run's going over and they have to mercy kill it they like you know they have fun with it at least where like the person will be like well sorry like this sucks uh my run you know this run is dead and i can't do anything about it uh but yeah, thanks for letting me, you know, hang out and blah, blah, blah. And they just like, you know, they'll do their thing. And then like people will make jokes about it or whatever. And, you know, it's, I don't know. It's, it's just, I don't know. I mean, I guess I, I was gonna say, I don't know why I watch GDQ anymore. Uh, but I watch it because of the cringe. Um, Cause that's like, I don't know, even like it's, it's cringe and it's fun to cringe at. But uh, there's this 24, I was talking about it earlier. There's a 24 hour Gaki no Tsukai channel on Twitch now. Well, I don't know how long it's been there for, but, uh, I heard about it a few months ago, but I never, like, I forgot about it, and then last night I was like, oh, let me go check that out, finally. Uh, and so now I'm like, what's the point in watching GDQ when I can be watching Gaki no Tsukai instead? <laughs> and that's running longer, and it's way more pleasant, uh. Anyway, let's breed some monsties. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a hater. I feel like something like I was saying I watched that I'll, I'll watch GDQ and I see the chat and everyone's loving it And I'm just like maybe I'm just a hater like maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm like maybe everyone does love this But then I go to V's thread and I see everyone else is like dude this sucks <laughs> and I'm like, okay, it's not just me uh, but I don't know if I can trust their opinion, you know anyway uh, what did I? Okay, I want this guy. Catching monsters in the mole hole is so annoying. Because, uh, they're like, even on the G ranks, it's like, I'll, I'll go to, like, try and catch one, and it barely hits, like, 30%. And I'm just like, bro, these things are supposed to be, like, the early game monsters, and it, I can't catch them. Uh, and I, like, throw them snacks and stuff. And that's, like, the way I catch them is, like, I throw them snacks, and then I kill them, and then they pop back up. And they're like, hey, can I join you? Sometimes. It's annoying.
I don't know what to uh, give this guy. He has high MP, HP. I guess not high, but... Well, three stars. The highest I've seen is four stars, but I don't know what the limit of stars is. Um, but he seems like HP, MP, defense, and wisdom are where you focus. I do have, like, the wisdom here. But it's crack ward. Some HP here, I guess. I don't know if I want to give him... Well, what does he have? Poison attack, sleep attack, hellish howl, and a bunch of, like, status effect things. Ultra fidget. Okay. I feel like I should give him Slimer. No, I should give him Zap Aficionado, because Slimer will give him Frizz and Zap, but that's kind of it. I mean, Slime Squisher, but it's not a big deal. Uh, whereas this gives him Zap and Zapple. I mean, I'm not going to use him anyway, so. Maybe just these two. I was talking about reading about like the different uh okay i have this box of like c's little like chocolate balls um there's these green ones silver ones and then there's some red ones the green ones are dark chocolate the red ones are dark or regular or milk chocolate regular chocolate milk chocolate the silver ones are both dark and milk chocolate and i don't know like i put them all in this box together and mixed them up i mean i didn't mix them up but i just like poured them in the box and they got mixed up as I've been like digging around for like milk chocolates when I want milk chocolates. Um, but now all these silver ones, it's like a gamble. Well, I have a red one here, but if I want to like grab a silver one, I don't know what's in it. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> I was watching Vinny stream earlier. <clears throat> uh, he might still be streaming. But, uh, because I started and he was still going. Um, I don't remember what he was playing at the start of the stream, but when I woke up, he was doing Wheel of the Weird, where he plays a bunch of, like, random weird games. Uh, and, uh, I don't know, sometimes I, like, I don't care about that, like, care for that segment, because it's like... Some of the games are just like, I don't know, they're too random, like they're trying too hard to be weird, if that makes sense. Um, and they're like, I don't know, not indecipherable, but it becomes like a thing of like, I don't know, who is this for? Like I get that it's weird and, you know, the developer can do whatever they want, but like, Sometimes it's like, what's the point? <laughs> but I guess it's just, I don't know. They can do whatever they want. Uh, I don't want to give up my cats for this guy. Wait. Oh, I thought that was a Drackey. I was like, I can do that real quick. Uh, I wouldn't want to give up my... Dark Saber Cub, unless it was... Oh, I guess, like, if I had a good suck you bat, I'd be willing to give that up. Uh, because I need one of those guys, because I want to make the Hellbound Horror. But... 
Mm. Where'd he go? Wait, what is that? Grinferno. Oh, that's like a nose? I was trying to, oh, I see. The black is his mouth. He has an open mouth. I was like, it looked like, I don't know, it looked like a beard or something. I thought it was yell like the yellow nose was his mouth or something. And I was like, when's he gonna grin? But the black is his mouth. He is grinning. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that makes it more easy to see. Uh, Where'd that Bodkin archer go? So what's this guy? Shivery shrubbery. Oh. Okay, I can make a. Oh no, they. Why do they. They want my kitty so bad. <clears throat> okay, wait. If I. Put my cat into the Bodkin Archer and then get this dude. I don't actually want to do that because he's... I don't know. Rank E. Oh, he yeah, he's rank F. Hmm. <laughs> Let me see what my options are that don't involve the cats. Cause I'm sure I can. I just have to spend time to like get one. I don't have anything that'll make a gold one of him, which kind of sucks. Wait, that doesn't. Oh, I don't have one that'll make a gold one of him, which means I can't do this. Oh no, I can. I don't need a gold one. I just need to hit that ring. That's what it was. Wait, what do I need for a hammerhead? I'm assuming it's just like beast family and something else. I don't want to give up my armor though. My armor, uh, which is the dude on the right, he is also puny. Uh, like I, I synthesized one, and then I went to like look at all my monsters in the paddock, and uh, my armor is shorter than I am, and it's like this guy's supposed to be a big old suit of armor. I don't. Know, it's fun. I like seeing like the difference, like the different sizes of monsters. It's funny. Uh, what? Um, hmm. I mean, I don't really want him. I don't really need him. I can just braid him away. <clears throat> I guess I'll just do this. Also, I think my monsters in my... Like, in the box, I guess. Like, at the paddock or whatever. In storage. I think the monsters in storage also level up. Like, get experience and level up. Because this one, I caught at the beginning in the game. I have not leveled him up to 18. I don't know how he got to 18. It basically is what... Why I think that. <laughs> uh, what does this guy do? Attack, defense. Oops. Oh, he's a brownie, not a hammerhead. Whatever. <clears throat> My throat! And eating these candies now. I was talking about not like not eating ice cream earlier because uh, I didn't want to uh, mess, like have my throat <laughs> acting up, uh, and then I go and eat these candies and do the same thing. Anyway, uh... okay, so I'll probably want to take Outlaw, but what about the other? HP sucks. So I don't know if I want to take this. I'm probably not going to use them. I'm probably just going to breed them into something else. Is this, uh... <clears throat> okay, I guess I can take Blowy Slasher. And Blade Maven. 
Oh, wait. Now I want to have all these slashers. Because I, I just remember remember that I like gave the harmer all these slashes. Uh, so now I don't want any of these. Well, what's redundant? I remember as I gave this. These two are a little bit redundant. I guess both of these are redundant for this one. Because he has Flame Slash here. He has Cook Crackle Slash here. Or Slash here. But this has Dragon Slash. And this has Slime Squisher. And he doesn't have either of those here. But I don't know if he needs them. Um, <clears throat> I don't want anything from this guy now, now that I'm looking. So I want this one for sure. I'll just leave these points unspent. I guess, I mean, I guess I can spend them. Doesn't matter because I'll get them all anyway. <laughs> So I'll take this, this, and then I don't know which other one I want. I feel like Dragon Slash would be better. opens up anything new. My nose keeps itching. anything new on this page <laughs> but I think I might have all the combinations pretty much until I have like specific monster combinations oh, I can get a hammer hood now wait I could have gotten a hammer hood already so making that brownie kind of pointless <laughs> oh, yeah, when the internet went out earlier, it was so annoying because, like, I was like, I, like it. My stream just stopped going, and I was like, "Okay, what's going on there?" And uh, I couldn't. Like, my cell service sucks, so I was like, it took like ten minutes to just connect to to a Comcast website and get to like their status page to see if there was an outage. Uh, and then when I finally got there, it's like, yes, there is an outage, and I was like, okay, like cool. But man, I wish there was an easier way to check, cause like. I don't know, the only other thing I can think of is, like, calling them, but I don't want to call them. Okay, when I get this guy to 10, I can make this ogre. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then when I checked the status, it's like, it said there was, uh, damage to their network. And I was like, okay, <laughs> like, that doesn't sound good. Um, like, it sounds like we'll be out of internet for a while. And it did, it said, like, uh, we're trying to get your internet up back by, or your service back up by 7.25 p.m. And I was like, dude, I don't want to sit here for like three hours with no internet. Uh, I mean, I would have been fine, but <laughs> but just I can't. I don't know. I can't live without the internet. I need it. I uh, depend on it. Um, do I do suck you bat brownie? Uh, I 
What does this guy want? I don't know. Anyway, let's just go with what I have here. And progress the game a little bit. Uh, let me put some money away. I don't know if I have a lot of money. Um, <clears throat> I was catching monsters in some of these areas, and uh, this area seems to be the highest level. Like the succubats and the phantom armors that I catch um, are in the 20s. Like, early 20s. And then the other areas, the monsters are, like, high teens. Um, and I don't know if that means I'm supposed to go to this area last or what, but I'm not struggling. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna... This area is the coolest, and I want to do it first. So, I'm gonna do it first. Oh, wait. I have to, uh... She doesn't have, she has sleep attack and that's it. Like I like her, all these like status effects are really cool, but I just don't want her wasting MP. Cause uh, I want to like level these guys up a little bit. I guess it's fine, whatever. I can't remember if I, Synthesize the way my phantom phantom fencer not phantom armor whatever um because if i did i should try to catch another one. Oh, and that's what i was like saying earlier like in the mole hole they have all the monsters that i've had before but they're really hard to catch and i was like bro i might as well just go here like a succubat appeared and it was an l size and i was like bro I, I, like i want that and there was a super tiny one too like like very very small um and i think oh here i took screenshots of it <laughs> um this sucky bat is so small uh and this like i i don't know i took screenshots of all the little dudes the the very tiny ones but yeah i was like i saw this one i tried to catch it but i didn't catch it and there was a big one that i also tried to catch and didn't catch um uh it was annoying but like I was like, man, if, if they didn't, if the mole hole didn't have the, like, that ability to, like, get different sized monsters, uh, I would just be up here catching succubats if I wanted a succubat. Um, cause, like, they're so hard, I mean, they're not, like, super hard to catch, but, like I was saying, there's, like, in the G rank, uh, which is the early game monsters, like, just a basic little slime, I go to scout it, and it fills up 30%, and I'm like, I would hit 100% in like one monster if I went out to the wild and caught a slime. Uh, and I don't know if that's because like the level of the slime is like a little bit higher because when I catch them they end up being like level 10-ish. Um, <clears throat> and it's like I don't have to do the work of grinding to level them up but it takes less time to catch a wild slime and then level it up to level 10 than it takes to try and get one from the mole hole. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> What's up, Christmas? How are you? Uh, I guess I have to do these in order. Oh, there was a chest uh, all the way over there. I went and grabbed that earlier. I remember what was in it, uh, but I was like trying to go back to the beginning, and I was like, oh, here's the stairs that go down, and then I was like, wait, there's a chest here, and then I was just like, I guess I'll grab it. <laughs> Am I liking the game? Is it worth the buy? Um, I'm liking it. I don't know if I would say it's Can worth the buy the if you don't like Dragon Quest or Dragon Quest monsters. If you do, I would say it's worth it. I am enjoying myself. Uh, I played Dragon Quest 1 and 2 and Joker, uh, the first one. Um, and uh, I like it. But it is like, I don't know. It, it depends on like your tolerance for... Uh, like performance and stuff like that. <clears throat> Fan of Dragon Quest played most. Okay, you might, you probably like it more than I do. I don't know. Uh, like one of the reviews I read was a guy who's like super into Dragon Quest and he was like gushing about it. And I was like, okay, that was part of what made me get it uh, was because like I was interested, but I wasn't sold on it yet. And then 
<clears throat> I read his article, his review basically, and was like, all right. And then I like looked into his like accounts and stuff more, like his profile and other things he had done. And I was like, oh, this guy's just like a fam, like a Dragon Quest fanboy. So like, maybe I shouldn't have taken his opinion so seriously. <laughs> and then, uh, but then like playing it, I was like, no, I like it. It's good. Uh, the voice acting's good. Uh, I was gonna say like performance. It's like I don't know. Like it doesn't look the best, and it doesn't run the best. Um, I don't know if you played Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but it you know has a lot of the same issues of like some areas are not that they don't run very well. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll do like uh, if I'll get all the monsters or like do a hundred percent, but um, I do like to spend time synthesizing and all that stuff. Um, but uh. Yeah, uh, yeah, I like it. Does that I'm not very far. Like I don't the think. Memory of an insane criminal monster mind to you. <coughs> Look out, you two! Here it comes. Uh, you say you played most Dragon Quest. Have you played four? Because this game is supposed to be uh like a prequel to four, kind of. You play as Pissarro, basically. Before he became... I never played Dragon Quest 4, but that's whatever it is. You're playing as Pissarro before he becomes, like, the antagonist for 4, I guess. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I could have gave him orders. 500 monsters? That's a lot. I don't even think a Pokemon game held that many. Uh, I think Pokemon has more than 500 Pokemon, but I think you're right in that, like, there's no Pokemon game that has... 500 in it? Maybe? Maybe X and Y. I don't know how many were in X and Y. <laughs> oh, there's a thing that says you can get 593 Pokemon in X and Y. But I don't know if it means... Okay, yeah, no Pokemon Bank. Yeah. So, some Pokemon games do have more than 500. <laughs> but I know Scarlet and Violet didn't. Uh, they, like, like super cut the uh, Pokedex down. Um, or, like, available Pokemon. Even, like, for transfer from older games, they're like, nope, these ones aren't allowed for, like, the longest time. Um... That guy was easy, but I'm pretty over-leveled for this point of the game. That's what I'm saying. I don't think I'm very far, but um, I spent so much time just, like, running around so, leveling like, monsters this? for synthesis that, like, my main party has gotten too strong. <clears throat> Me with my handy PC need a gaming PC. Yeah, I mean... I like my Switch, uh, but... And I'm playing this on Switch, but I would, uh, uh, I would love to have it on PC. And I, I saw, like, people, because I didn't play Dragon Quest Treasures, but I wanted to, uh, and it came to PC, and people were like, this, this game might come to PC, so some people are waiting. Um, but, uh, I was like, I don't know, I'm not gonna wait. <laughs> yeah, I like my Switch a lot. I, I would say I love my Switch as well. Um, I, I never play it. Handheld though, uh, I was talking about that last night a little bit too, because uh, one of my friends was saying he uh, he's getting a rog ally. Now, kings of this new world. <laughs> uh, he's getting a, a rog ally, which is like a Steam Deck thing where it's like a handheld PC. <laughs> um, and I was like, everyone I know is getting those or has one, and I'm like, man, maybe I should get one, but. I never play my Switch handheld mode, so, like, I don't think I would ever really use it that much, because I'm not gonna... I don't know. The only thing I can think of is taking it to work and playing it on lunch or something like that, but... I'm not gonna... I don't want to take it to work, because I leave my office quite a bit, and so... I I don't think anyone would steal it, but I don't want to, like, risk that. Handhelds are just so convenient, yeah. And I get, like, that's... Yeah. Like, I just don't have many situations where that convenience would like, I don't know, 
But I was talking about last, like, last night when I was talking about this with my friend, I was like, there are moments where I'm, like, in bed, and I, like, my mouse is, uh, it can be, it can, it's wireless, so, like, I can unplug it and take it to bed, so I can, you know, still use it in bed to, like, I don't know, go to different streams and stuff like that. <laughs> um, and, uh, there are moments where I'm in bed and I'm like, I want to play a game, so I have to, like, play games that I can only play with a mouse or, like, do stuff that I can only do stuff that I can only do, or do stuff that I can do with only a mouse, uh, because my keyboard's not wireless, and I'm like, I want a wireless keyboard for that, but also not at the same time, because, like, I don't know. But then, that's, like, that's the thing, is, like, if I had a ROG ally, or, or even if I just had, like, um, I don't know, I guess you can just get, like, a wireless controller. I do have, like, controllers, but, um, <clears throat> if I had, like, a... What do they call it? Like, the, the new PlayStation, like, the PlayStation, is it just PlayStation? It's not, what is it? PlayStation Portal for, like, PS5. Um, if I had something like that for PC where I could just, like, stream it to the handheld, that could work. But at, at that point, I might as well just have a controller because I can just lick at my monitor from bed. <laughs> I'm training in a plane in your car at the bar. Dr. Seuss? <laughs> um, who's that? Change. Who's that? Oh, Azabel. It would seem even a Zenithian may be motivated to acts of such recklessness. She has stolen one of the secrets of creation. Should she use it, <laughs> grave times lie ahead for all of us. Deliver now this message to all Zenithians. Find Azabel before she is consumed by her own ambition. Seems that's not a bad option. Uh, I agree. And... I think the ROG Ally is like more powerful, powerful, but I think the newer Steam decks, the like OLED ones, hold on, I guess these. Excuse me. Um, I don't know if the newer Steam decks are more powerful or if they just have the better screen, <laughs> but I think they have a better screen than the ROG Ally does. But uh, I don't know. But if I was going to get one, I probably, I don't know, everyone I know has a ROG ally, so I feel like I would probably get a Steam Deck to be different. <laughs> or wait for, a, like, a newer model of Steam Deck before I get something, a more powerful one. The secrets of creation? This is way, way bigger than I could have imagined. Let's find the next memory, quick. My curiosity has been peaked beyond its peak. Yeah, I was saying the voice acting in this game, uh, it's good. Um, and it's like, it's one of those things, like, every time, like, when I started playing the game, and I was like, wow, there's, like, so much voice acting. Like, so many things are, like, voiced in this game. Uh, I was just like, what is Pokemon doing? Like... <laughs> Because, uh, I played through the, um, the Indigo Disc DLC, uh, like a week ago. Oh, I don't want to watch it again. Um, which is the most recent DLC for it. And, uh, there are so many scenes where, like, it's a cutscene and the characters are talking and it's just text at the bottom of the screen. I'm like, bro, like, this feels so weird, like, without actual voices. Uh, even though that's how Pokemon, Pokemon has always been, at least the games. But, like, it just feels weird for them to, like, zoom in on a character, like, having a monologue, and it's just, like, tiny subtitles at the bottom of the screen, and it's just, I don't know, it feels weird. And then playing this game and being like, man, like, <clears throat> what are they doing with their budget over at Pokemon? And I keep making the joke that they spent it all on Ed Sheeran for the credits. Because uh, that couldn't have been cheap. Let's 
see what's next on the memory menu. Brace yourselves, it's coming right at us. These guys aren't even helping. <laughs> Abracadabra door. I guess I'll just let them keep doing what they're doing. They're... The AI is pretty smart in this. Uh, it's cool because like you set tactics, you can tell them what spells to use or not use and stuff like that. Or what spells to like use more often or less frequently uh, or not use at all. And then you can like give them tactics that is just like support the team, disable the enemy, just focus on attacks, heal... Uh, don't use magic, and then, uh, I guess I can just show them here. But, like, you have all these options, uh, <coughs> and, like, no matter what you pick, the AI, like, does a good job of, like, using what they should, and not, like, wasting turns. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I had pizza earlier. I was talking about that a like a little while ago, but um, pizza for dinner, and uh, it's from this pizza place that I've had pizza from a million times. And when I ate it this time, I was like, I, I don't know if it was from a different um, what do you call it, like store, but uh, it was a lot better this time than the last time I had it. Uh, and the, they had a there was a cheese bread, like garlic cheese bread. Uh, and I don't like it from that place because their cheese is just weird. Like, it has, like, a weird taste to it. I don't know. <clears throat> like, it tastes like they might be using not cow milk or cow, like, cheese that come that would come from cow's milk or something. Like, hold on. Awaken now. Uh, it kind of tastes like goat cheese. Uh... I don't think it's actually goat cheese, but anyway, this time it came out like it tasted good, and I was like, okay, what are they doing? Did they change the recipe, or is it the store? We have a world to make anew. <laughs> Fly forth, oh flames of mercy. Uh... A world where subjugation reigns deserves no tomorrow. From sin, light will shine once more. So these are memories. Mommy, where are you? Mommy! You must suffer before you can know joy. From your agony will spring forth a world infinitely more beautiful. What is going on? <laughs> Should this continue, life will cease to exist and all will be lost. Who's that? Go forth, Zenithians! Oh, that was, the, that was the dragon. Whatever cost. They haven't given him a name yet. The only other... He said, like, or Orifiella or something like that. But I don't know who that is either. It would seem that <laughs> Is a Zenithian who put the entire world in dire peril. This is totally nuts. I'm not sure I like where this is going. But we must find out. <sighs> we have to release that final memory. But is that going to release her? I feel like this is a bad idea. Because that guy, the warder who told us to do this. I don't know. He was just like. IDK, bro, just do it. <laughs> the only thing this game is missing that Pokemon has is uh, a mount. But uh, the zones are, like, I guess that's, like, another kind of, like, downside. Is the zones are smaller than in uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But, uh... That could be a good thing because this massive open world in Scarlet and Violet looks and runs and final one. very focused. poorly uh, because it's so massive. Uh, and I talk about it all the time. I play that game and it's just like, man, I really wish they would have just won with smaller zones that uh, look and run better. <laughs> hmm. 
Not that this game's zones look particularly great or run particularly great because they're smaller, but they uh, they have the right idea at least. Oh, the other thing about, like, letting the AI run is they'll do stuff, they'll, like, act, react to things that happen in the turn. So, like, if someone gets hit and is about to die, they'll heal them uh, in that turn instead of you having to be like, oh, great, now on the next turn I have to heal them before they get killed. Uh, and it's very nice. That's why, like, the uh, my Iron Maiden tried to put him to sleep right after he woke up. Uh, whereas, if I would have picked all my moves, I wouldn't have tried to do that because I would have been like, he's already asleep, so I'm not going to try to put him to sleep again. <clears throat> also, my backup monsters are level 10 now, so I should breed them, synthesize them. Ravaged by flame, and it took mere days. May the vile spawn of corruption lie interred forevermore beneath the ground. This guy's Parthernax. Their souls from their bodies separated, never again to coalesce. Azabel. Architect of this grave sin, I have vanished to an ancient elven realm. I'm sure Should we'll go there eventually. Creations ever awaken, they will doubtless oh, pray for her side. Am I dropping frames? As any child would. Why? Why does this happen so much now? Like, I mean, it only dropped a little bit, and it looks like it's fixing itself again. But, uh, ever since I got this new modem. I think four of the last five streams, I like last night's stream, I didn't drop any frames, which I was surprised. And I was like, okay, maybe it's over. Uh, and then I go and drop 400 frames right there. <laughs> anyway, it's this modem, I swear, because like that's the only thing that only thing that's changed. Uh, get this new modem, and all of a sudden, I'm just dropping frames every stream, thousands every stream. This event be recorded in Sendithian scripture that it may live in our memories. Never to be repeated. I don't get Toilin it. looks so stupid. Did all that stuff really happen? I like they just need to like Cut that little bit of hair off. Why did they do that? Who let Toriyama cook him? Like, may living nightmares not deter thee on Oh, that's the guy, the warder. Hope. Press on with purpose, whatsoever that may be. I thought we were talking. Well, you released all the memories. Did you learn anything interesting? As for me, I'm now free of the Zenith Dragon's control. Feels rather pleasant. Now, I have a little time. I just realized that I really should be attending to. So Terrestria like Earth, Terrestria. Uh Zenithia, Zenith, and then Nadiria, like Nadir or Nadir, I don't know how you pronounce that. I've never heard it pronounced. <laughs> so they're like <laughs> Nadir being like the lowest is like, you know, the demon realm and then Zenith being like the highest would be, I guess. I it's it seems like that's where elves are from, so like, I don't know, are elves gods? Uh well, there's that like, I don't know, angel-looking lady and now he said Zenith dragon. <laughs> I didn't know that's what those... I didn't pick that up until he just said Zenith Dragon. Watch out! Where did that one even come from? Dear me. You 
really must learn oh was that the last one we fought clothes. i'm pretty sure we killed him though i think this means you owe me one i expect you to be the hero in my hour of need i suppose this is farewell for now at least Drink not deep of empty power, lest thou succumbs to it. And in that blinkered state, see not the knife's approach. Tell him to stop talking like that. Uh, I guess that's it? I wonder if the other areas do the same thing. Like, we're gonna get some lore on that. Azabel. Uh, I don't know why I'm walking. I guess I'll start here. Oh wait, I should go. To, I should have went to the uh, amalgamation altar of amalgamation. A too much. <laughs> oh, the other thing I was talking about with like learning about how the synthesis, lear learning how synthesis works more in depth. Uh, the difference, like I learned all the differences between large and small monsters, but also uh, when you're breeding or synthesizing monsters, there's um, it's it's like random whether if you breed a large like the only you can't breed you can't get a large monster from breeding two small monsters only if you breed okay if you breed two small monsters you're always going to get a small if you breed two large monsters i think you're always going to get a large uh but you can breed a large and a small and there's a chance you'll get a large and so like and you can just like reset uh if you don't get a large if you want um <coughs> and so i have that large iron maiden uh so if I wanted to, I could breed her to like something else, like these this large Iron Maiden. I even put big in her name so I would know the difference, like between them. Even though there's like the L there, I didn't realize the L was there. I never noticed it. Um, but anyway, if I read these two together, uh, I would get a, another large Iron Maiden. Uh, and then like down in the bottom there, like there's the L next to like Tactical Genius, Tactical Genius, Rando Buff, Spongy Skin. Um, those only, only large monsters get those. And, like, I didn't... That's what I figured earlier, because, like, every time you look at one of these, they have, like, the three extra skills with the L next to them. So I was always like, that must be a thing that you get with a large monster, or you have a chance to get with a large monster or something. Uh, but they get all three of those. And, uh, and I think they start with all of them, or two of them at least, because my large... My large, uh... Iron Maiden has Come again. like three three of those skills already or whatever hey. uh, and they say level one <laughs> so here like these three she already has because they unlock at level one um but one of them, one of them is the one that I think is Tactical Genius. That one lets you attack two or three times a turn, but it lowers your stats. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Um, I don't want large monsters. I mean, I do want large monsters more as like just a collecting thing. Like I just want to have a large version of some of them. But also I want really, really tiny versions uh, to take with me. Like, I, I kind of like having my very small Iron Maiden. Um, and I was trying to get, like, that very tiny Succubat and uh, Jargon and all those other ones. Because um, it's cute. <laughs> like, having little tiny ones. Uh, but... We'll see if I can get one. What does, I, what does this guy need? Oh, the Bodkin Archer. And what did that need? There's like, oh, the brownie, okay. 
Well, like, there's something I bred to do that. <laughs> uh, what does he do? I keep pressing my buttons too many times. He has toxicologist. Does she have anything that I would give? I kind of like that. Don't care about that. Don't want that. Or that. I feel like I guess the Psyche Bat has like the best. Wait, what did this guy have? I don't need wisdom and I don't want healing. <laughs> oh, but I guess I would just give him. I would give him this for sure, but I don't know if I want. Poison attack, heartbreaker. Wait, did I pass it? This has poison attack. Sure. Uh, I think that star just means I maxed it out. I was gonna say, what is that star? Um, whatever. I don't really want that. Now I'm like, I guess I do just take that. Also, I'm not gonna use this guy. I'm just gonna get him to 10 and then breed him away. See, this one looks big. Uh, I can't tell though, because he just looks big on that stage. But they come out. I don't think he, he's not an L size, is the thing, I guess. Um. Magic. Hmm. I don't like breeding any of these unless I have the gold version. Like, I feel like there's no point. I need a green dragon. Dark slime. I was gonna say, I feel like I can do that. Um, I need another sucky bat, or I just go get a dark slime from the mole hole. That's gonna take a minute. Dark slime sea urchin. <coughs> I can get one of these easy. I don't know why. I didn't know I didn't have one. Uh, I don't think I've gotten a mecha mina. I know where they are. They're in one of these other areas. So dark slime. What was the other one? Sea urchin. Get a mecha mina. Finally. And a pocus pop it. 
Hopefully the Pocus Poppet is super easy to get, because it's like right here. And I just cleared the area. But the Mecha Mina, I guess I'll do that area next that they're in. And then get a Dark Slime and a Sea Urchin from the Mole Hole. Because I don't know, I haven't seen... I don't think I've seen either of them in the wild yet. Oh, I was going to say this earlier, but like I was looking up, like I was reading, you know, more about the systems in synthesis. And uh, there are some monsters you can only get from uh, like their grandparents' ancestry. Like it's, it's like the four at the top determine what the one at the bottom will be. So like no matter what, like I have the dark saber cub in the shadow, uh, whatever those would breed into wouldn't matter if I had the right grandparents. So if I, if, if there was something that was like, I guess I should find a monster that's, that I have like bred. So like if, okay, <laughs> if there was something that needed the grandparents to be two jargons and two slimes, uh, like no matter what, like those behemoth slimes wouldn't matter because whatever the, the king slime is, like what what is in the king slime spot, uh, would be whatever came from the grandparents. I don't know if that makes sense, but there are monsters that like, they don't care about the parents, they care about the grandparents. So like, <clears throat> you have to have the, the correct grandparents, grandparents uh, to get them. And the parents don't matter, uh, which I thought was really cool, but also like, I was like, dang, that's intense. Join, nice. Um, but I didn't, I don't know any combinations because the one that I, like the example that I saw was like, I was like, okay, like I, I see, it seems like there's like a pattern maybe. And like, part of me thinks like, I wonder if having like the bubble slime king, the dark slime king, the slime king or king slime. And then like one other kind of king slime as like grandparents would like give me something. Like the Omega King Slime, I don't know. Or Giga King King Slime. <laughs> okay, let me mole hole. And also check on that chest. Cause I think I got all the rewards from the chest, so now it's like starting over. Even though I haven't used any of them. I feel like it's cheesing. Cause like they just give you all these skill seeds and super good items. I do want to use the treats though, like the monster stuff, the snacks. So I got those meaty treats there. Beastie bites near the end. But yeah, I haven't used any of those other things yet. Uh, I don't know what floor the dark slimes are on. That's the other thing that's kind of like annoying about the mole hole is like rank g i have like the most monsters i think and so they don't all spawn and you have to like clear out monsters to get like other ones to spawn in um so like there's no, I don't see a slime around here anywhere. So if I wanted a slime, just like a basic slime, I would have to start killing things until the slime spawns. Like I needed a small fry earlier for something. Uh, and it took forever to get one to spawn. Like there, like I think I came in and there was one spawn, but I failed to catch it. So I had to kill it or well, I killed it. Um, and then I walked away and it, something else spawned in its place. And then I was like, oh great. Uh, cause I thought it would just like always spawn. Like I, I thought like the set of monsters you had was the set of monsters you had. And if you wanted to like change it, you have to leave and come back or something, which is, I guess this is better than having to leave and come back. Uh, but it's still like, I don't know. They, I wish it was a little bit bigger, uh, and could fit a little bit like some more monsters. Okay. So I need this guy. That guy is huge. 
So is this guy. I feel like I should like also catch some of those because it'll uh replenish replenish some things like I don't have a sucky bat anymore. But trying to catch this one would be annoying when I can just get the one in the wild. This guy might be L size. Or the one that I, one that I had was small. So like this is what I'm talking about though, like I'm rank D or whatever, and I'm still like barely getting over 30%. And then they get angry right away. Which is like, it's not a big deal because they're easy to kill, but like the only real way to guarantee catching them is uh, giving them snacks and hoping they get back up. And it's not even, like I was saying, it's not even, I say guarantee, but it's not even a guarantee. You give them snacks and then kill them and hope they get up. Like I was giving them the, uh, like the best food that I have. The uh, Beastie Bites greatly increase the likelihood of it wanting to join you. Uh, and there was multiple times where they did not join me. And I was like, great, I wasted my Beastie Bites. See, like now this cat is here in this place. So I'm going to kill this to clear out some room. I don't know if the dark slime spawn on this floor, but the sea urchins do, so I'm gonna try to get the sea urchin that's here. Okay, seeing so then this little dupe appeared. And it's not like, excuse me. Oh, see, this is an L-sized one. Uh, I don't want him though. Um, but it's not like, it doesn't like cycle through the monsters where it's like, okay, like, we're gonna spawn in the bagworm, and then the whatever next, and then the whatever. It's little, I think it, I'm pretty sure it's just random, because sometimes the same monster will reappear, and I'm just like, okay, go away, dude. <clears throat> the annoying thing about fighting the L sizes is they have 50% more HP, uh, so they you need to do 50% more damage, uh, so the fight takes a little bit longer. I don't need you. So sometimes when I'm like clearing it out, I just like go for the smaller looking ones uh, to uh, make it a little bit quicker to save like a turn. Oh, I put it on slow again, or I turned it off fast. Turned off the fast battle. Also, I don't know why my Iron Maiden sometimes just attacks like that. Uh... <clears throat> oh, I guess it's because she doesn't have... <laughs> She doesn't, she actually doesn't have an attack. I just, re I just remembered. She only has like the, uh, oh see, and he got up on his own. That's nice. Uh, all she has is, are the little status effects and then like a uh, sleep attack. But, uh, I turned that off so she wouldn't waste her MP using that. Cause she has a sleep ability. Why is nothing spawning? Oh, something did spawn. It's just puny. Look at how small this guy is. It's a Bongo Drongo or whatever. Uh, in the wild, they have like a high chance of being large, I read. So, like I read a thing that was saying like if you're trying to get a large monster, get a bunch of Bongo Drongos. Cause, or go hunt for Bongo Drongos because they have a super high chance of being large. This guy is so small though. He's below my knees. This is what I'm saying though. Is like I like, <laughs> I want him. No. Cause it's cute when they're very tiny like this. But like even this, like I hit 17%. Yeah. If I really wanted him, I would have given him a snack. Oh nice. That's lucky. That's nice. You're one of us now. <laughs> He's so tiny. I'm gonna breed him away anyway, so it's like there's no like I don't know. I wasn't too invested in catching him. Uh, like, if I didn't catch him, I wouldn't be too bummed about it. Um, I want to see if this guy's an L-size. He looks like he should be an L-size. Yeah. I would say the one that I had was, like, half the size of this guy. But it could have been a small one. <laughs> but I really like the size thing, because uh, it's like... Um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have that, too. I don't know if Sword and Shield had it, but... Uh, Scarlet and Violet has that, and... Uh, but they have, like... 
limits. So like a, I don't know. An EV can only get so big and can only be so small. But it seems like these monsters all scale, like they all have the same scale where like that Bongo Drongo was insanely small, but it could also be insanely large. Um, and it's just random. Like there's no like, oh, here's the Bongo Drongo maximum height and maximum or minimum height. It's like, nope. Everything has the same max and minimum height or something. And I think that's fun. Because uh, I'll eventually get to a point where I have like, I don't know, end game monsters. And uh, I'll come in here and just keep farming to try and get the very tiny one. What is making that noise? Is that him? His like little crawling noise? Sound like footsteps. Oh, I was trying to catch him actually. No, there's wild ones. That's the other thing is like I was thinking like the ones that you catch in here are they would have the same like loadout as the uh, the one you synthesize, but they don't. Cause that Iron Maiden that I caught the large one. Uh, I hadn't had an Iron Maiden before, other than the one that I synthesized here. Uh, and then the one that I caught had different talents and stuff like that. And I was like, okay. Like, it looked like it had all the default stuff. Other than being large and having the extra innates or whatever. Um, I guess I'm going to try to catch this guy. Because we bred the other one away. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Because I was looking, like, I have the large one. Uh, and I was t I was talking about breeding it away with the uh, Iron Maiden. But this is what I'm talking about. Like I've been sitting here killing things, trying to get a sea urchin to spawn, and I'm not getting a sea urchin. This is how I get over leveled. <laughs> it's like I sit here and just like try to get the one monster and uh, like grind and grinding. Like, no, I'm not even trying to grind. I'm just trying to get the monster and have to kill so many. So then it, uh, my monsters get leveled up unintentionally. I don't even need to do this. Like I could just go progress the story somewhere, but I can't, I want, I don't know. Every time like I hit level 10 on my backline monsters, I just want to breed them away. Cause I feel like it's a waste of experience to, to not do that. Even though I can just go farm. See like, this is what a normal Bongo Drongo looks like. <clears throat> this guy actually might be on the large side. He is. I wonder, now I'm wondering if like, well no, cause like the succubus was like over here somewhere. And she started spawning over there. Cause I was gonna say, I wonder if it's like, the monster spawn is like, okay, this location here is gonna spawn, you know, these, this set of monsters. So 
Like once I find the right spawn, I could just like like if I knew where the if I remembered where the sea urchin was, I think it might have been where this bagworm is. But if I just like keep killing this bagworm, eventually the sea urchin will spawn again in this spot. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna change my tactics too, but I forgot. Cause uh, I can do. I was gonna say I can do it right here, but I hit the button too soon. Anyway. Uh, because I want everything to attack. I don't need my Iron Maiden debuffing and my King Slime buffing. We're not in danger. Show. Show. Okay. I don't know if I still have one of these. Now. I think that might be it. If I keep killing, well, this is, this is where the bagworm was spawning. So if I knew where the sea urchin was spawning, because it does, it, it kind of seems like that. Like the the specific spot will just keep spawning the same set of monsters. If I get another bagworm here, I'm gonna assume that. Or if I get a, another sea urchin. If I get another... <gasps> finally. I think that is it. That has to be it. So, like, if there's a monster that I'm looking for, I gotta, like, find the spawn spot for it. If it's not already in. And then just keep hunting that spot. I'm gonna give him a tree. I don't want to give him the best one, though. And then try to scout him. This is what I always do, is, like... Give them a snack and then try to scout. And if I fail the scout and they get mad, there's another chance. Okay, cool. Means I waste the meat, but it's not a big deal. Oh, I was like, where's the well? So yeah, so if I wanted to, I think... This is where the succubus was spawning, but if I wanted to like get a bigger small succubus, I would just like keep farming this spot. I kind of want to see if I can get a different size one instead of the normal, because I think the last two or three were just normal sized. I don't remember if that's the spot though. It might be the jargon spot. Oh, a bullfinch, but he's tiny. I don't know, I guess the other thing is, could, it could be, like, maybe they're not, like, per spawn point, but, like, just, like, okay, this monster isn't spawned on the map, so, well, no, because, like, I don't know, I saw the bagworm in the same spot, like, three times, and the rat tile, okay, no, now, now I'm thinking it is, but I was just saying, of like, okay, it's just gonna cycle, in the one spot, it's gonna cycle through all the monsters that aren't on the map yet, so, like, any of these will give me, um, a succubus eventually eventually but then it becomes just a thing of like farming and like grinding hoping you get lucky eventually get the one you want and the size you want like i was saying i would love to have a very tiny succubat i'm not gonna use it but i just like i was saying i just want to collect the tiny monsters but whatever, I got stuff to do. I got a Drake slime to catch. That is also going to take... Well, it might not take that long, because, like... I have less rank E monsters. See, look, this one's huge. And they, they're not always... They don't... Always spawn that big. 
This guy's huge. This guy's puny. Dude, I love how cute they are. They're so small. I need him. Or I need to try to get him. I already have one. No, wait, I bred away the brownie, didn't I? Now. I was saying I already have one, so it's going to be... Like, I think... I remember there was something saying, like, if you... Oh, I wonder if I flee, if he'll stay here and be small. Because I've never tried this, actually. Oh, okay, I guess that's a better strat. It's like, instead of killing them... Okay, so this Harmer, uh, I have a Harmer and he's way smaller than this guy. Like, my Harmer is, like, shorter than I am. Um, but, uh, the other cool thing is, like, in this area, the monsters, like, they walk around and stuff like that, but they always stop before they run into you. So, like, they don't, oh, I did that. <laughs> I was gonna say, they don't start the combat with you, they just... Oh, great. I guess that's the other thing, is like trying to escape. So I was going to say, it's faster to just run, to like cycle that. Um, I was going to say, oh, there we go. They, uh, this one's huge. It's not an L size, though. Uh, I'm going to give him this one again. Uh... Whatever, when they're walking, if you stand in front of them, they'll stop before they walk into you. Okay, that's two in a row that I wasted the tree. Okay, now I just need a Mecha Mina. But I can go breed these ones for now. Also, the mole guy gives you rewards for, like, catching monsters down there. Either catching or killing, I don't know. I was like mashing through all his dialogue. But he kept giving me items. And I caught a, a mischievous mole. And he was like, oh, you caught a mischievous mole down there. Have this. And then like gave me an item for that. Yeah, this Bodkin Archer is huge. The other one that was down there was huge too, but... I'm pretty sure this guy's supposed to be little. Uh, okay. Um... The Mecha Mina is here, so let's go here, breed what I just caught, or synthesize away what I just caught, and then go out and try to get a... Well, go to the boss and try to catch any Mecha Minas I run into. I don't remember what I was trying to synthesize, though. I have that problem a lot, is like, I'm like, okay, I need these monsters to synthesize. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, I, I'm pretty sure this is one though, like as soon as I saw his picture. Uh, but it's like, I need to go get these to synthesize, and then I go get them and I come back and I'm like, okay, what was I trying to synthesize? <coughs> Agility, Wisdom, so we want spells on this guy. Rando ping. Oh. He looks big. I'm trying to remember what else I was trying to get. I think it was this guy? Yeah. Attack and defense. Okay, cool. He doesn't have any weaknesses. Other than confusion, I guess. But no elements.
Oh wait, what was his attack and defense? Okay. This one is tiny. He should not be that small. But, uh, good. I do want to try that, though. Well, in my head, I was thinking of, like, I want to try the thing, and then I say, I do want to try that without even talking about what. Um, but, uh, I was talking about the different slime kings, or, like, the grandparents thing. Oh! This guy's cool. Hyperthermion. Oh, hypothermion. Wait, what does he need? Why did that just show up now? So I don't know what I need to make a gold one, but... If I get another... Or if I get my fight guys to 10, I can get him, but I don't want to get him unless I have the gold one. <clears throat> anyway, I was going to say the slime kings, the different kings. Um, so I have the dark slime king, the slime king, the bubble slime king. Uh, if I could get one more, I would try... Man, look at all these new things I got now. Abyss Diver. That's cool. I like him. Um, and this carnivine. Uh, whatever. If I had another slime king, I would breed them with each other to try and get the like. See if there's anything for having the four. This reminds me, I, I was talking about watching that Gaki no Tsukai 24-hour stream. Uh, one of the episodes that I saw was, uh, they had Matsumoto, um, or no, what was, uh, Hamada. He had to do a bunch of, like, commercials. Uh, and the, uh, he had to do a bunch of commercials, like, in a really short time, over a long period of time. Uh, and like he would have like sometimes he would have like two minutes between commercials and he would have to change outfits and stuff like that Because um, they were like live commercials uh, Sometimes he would have like an hour or you know half an hour or something between uh, Commercials anyway, it was really funny because he um The last one he did was he was dressed up kind of like this he didn't have all like the He didn't have a talisman hanging from his head or you know the, the little like paper things hanging or whatever, but he was, like, in, like, clothes like that, with makeup and stuff, and singing, because, <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure every commercial he was, like, he, like, cosplaying, kind of, as someone, well-wisher, this guy's kind of horrifying, um, artillery, octopot, uh, anyway, some of these monsters, like, I have the blue versions, but I feel like I shouldn't make them until I get the gold version. Like, this guy, I want him, but now I'm like, I don't want to make him and then get the gold version later and be like, now I gotta remake him. But he's cool, and so I kind of do want to make him. I need to fight guys, or I need to level my fight guys. Oh, I guess I can also, like, well, no, because I don't know what the gold would make. I was gonna say, I could scan through and look for the gold, but I don't have whatever it is yet. Sorted by rank. Oh, I, yeah. So, like, the ones all the way at the end are... The G ranks. I feel like I should make this guy. 
But I don't want to give up these things to make him. And this guy? I don't know. Part of me feels like I should wait though, because like, like Mecha Mina, I could synthesize a Mecha Mina, but they're in the wild in the next area that I'm about to go to. And this guy is like a boss on the world, so like, I feel like I should make him, because I probably won't see him in a bit. But I don't want to make him unless I can make the gold one, right? I wonder what happens if you bring the bone idol, like if you bring this guy to the Colosseum. The announcer acknowledges that you're using one of his own species in the fight. Oh, the Hellbound Horse. That's one of the things I wanted to make. The Botkin Archer. I need to level him up. That's what it was. Um, <clears throat> okay. So what was the other thing I needed to make? Didn't I catch one other thing? The Dark Slime. The Poppet. So yeah, this. I don't really know what to make this guy, like give this guy, I guess if I can get wind resistance. Or defense booster, I guess. He already has fire stuff, so I don't really want that. Oh yeah, they share the same tree. So I guess I could have put points into it, and it would have been fine, but whatever. <laughs> He's pretty tall. Okay. That's it for now. I'm surprised I didn't, I mean, I'm not that surprised. I would say I'm surprised I didn't get any, uh, sparkles, but like I was saying last night, or saying earlier, but last night I was breeding the, uh, Iron Maiden to get sparkles and it took like half an hour of just like breed, see it come out, it's not sparkling, quit out, and then go back in. I guess just go to the main, the title menu, the title screen, go back in, try again. But, uh, that was like, 30 minutes of kind of passive um, synthesizing because I wasn't like, I wasn't doing it like, you know, like constantly. I was watching, you know, other stuff and doing other stuff in between. I was playing Fate Grand Order at the same time. Whoa. Cannon Brawlers. Now. So this is all I do now is I get into the fight, try to catch them. Okay, nice. Until they get angry, then kill them. Okay, wait, these guys are in the 20s too, so never mind. There's like the Sack Squatches down there somewhere. I guess they're not here in this season, but... uh. I caught one of those and it was like level 18, so that's what I was talking about earlier of like, it seems like these other areas aren't the same level, but maybe they are. Um, just want to make sure I explore and get items and stuff. No, probably have to wait for another season. These boxes remind me, um, oh, I can't walk that way. 
Oh god. They're gonna get me. Oh! I didn't know I could go down. <laughs> uh, Obake Doro, or what, what is it called? Uh, anyway. There's like a map with boxes like this, and uh, kind of like metal and stuff like this too. Like it looks like it's inside of a, a warehouse or something. Um, or a factory. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I don't know why that made me think of that. I mean, I do know why, because it looks like it, but... I haven't played that game in so long. Like, the last time I played it, like, the only time I've played it uh, was when they had that, like, free trial for, like, a weekend or something. And I only played it for, like, an hour or two. And it was cute. It was fun. But I didn't, uh, I don't know. That was it. And I, like, for a while I was getting, because, like, on the Switch, whenever you, like, play a game or download a game or something, I don't know how, how they decide. Uh... How they decide to subscribe you to like the news feed for that game but uh, i was subscribed to the news feed for that game and i was like after a while i was like why do i keep getting these and i was like oh it's because whoa that one's oh let's see that one's huge like why is he so big uh because he's the mini boss i don't want to fight you i want to fight this guy hopefully he doesn't join the battle okay good um Anyway, for the longest time I kept getting like Abake Doro or however, whatever the game's called. I want to make sure that's what it's called. You're one of us now. Yeah, Obake, Obake, Obake e Doro. Uh, ow, my nose. Um, yeah, whatever. I kept getting like event notifications and update notifications and stuff and I'm like I don't I don't have the game I can't see all this stuff I can't play all this uh, and then eventually I was like oh I can just I should just unsubscribe from this now. Oh, I forgot I have all my monsters on just kill which is fine Maybe not. I mean, it is, but... I want that. Oh, you kill... He kills himself to do that. Okay. I was like, that just seems like a super useful spell. Uh, and I guess it's, it is, but... You have to sacrifice the monster for it. Excuse me. <laughs> I should see what my talent points look like while also adjusting tactics. Support your weak. Cool. Um, I think I'd then just go down naturalist. I want that. So he has like resistances. Oh, that's a good. Now she has like a real attack instead of just sleep attack. <clears throat> and then I guess I should. Well, I want to get Giga Drain magic. Wait, oh, it costs, I was going to say, MP costs 50% to absorb MP from four enemies. Why would you, like, spend your MP to absorb MP? 50% uh, of it, but it's. I'm pretty sure that means 50% of your current MP. So if you're at, like, 2 MP, it costs 1 MP, and then you can gain a bunch back. Uh, I don't know if I need that that bad, though. But I think I'll get that. I'll get that, and then I'll start working down this. Yetisburg. 
I was like, where am I supposed to be going? Oh, they just have a hellbound horror right there. I'll try to get... Well, I guess I shouldn't try to get anything. I should just... Go to Yetisburg. The Yetisburg address. That is a big... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a big airbag on. Uh, but... He's just inflating himself. There's a leaf symbol? I was gonna say, there's a leaf symbol? Why? Uh, why? What was the point of that? Nice. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go from here? Do I just am I supposed to wait here until the season changes cuz something else like combos into this? I hope there oh, well okay, it'd be cool if there were, but also it would be kind of annoying if there were uh like areas that you could only reach by like taking advantage of multiple seasons. I have the seasoning item now. I haven't used it yet, but I, I saw that I had it when I was going through my items. I was like, oh, I remember seeing I got seasoning at some point, but I didn't look to see what it did. Anyway, it'd be cool if it was like you, uh, well, I like I saying, it'd be cool and annoying if it was like you have to go here in this in the summer and then in winter, you have to like stay in that spot until winter, and then in winter, this happens, and then you go from you know here to there, and then uh, you know whatever. Uh, it'd be cool because that'd be like a fun, I don't know, use of that mechanic. But also, it would be annoying because then it'd be a lot of like. Oh. What happens if I'm in here and the season changes and it drops down on me? Um, oh, I was like, there's like legs coming down. What is that? Uh, anyway, it'd be cool, but it would also be annoying because then you'd have to like, if you miss the season or you don't have, you know, seasonings, so you have to wait for the next round. Uh, like, I don't, what's, what was the, some of these I'm like, what is the point? Like, what? It, why do they want me to come up here? And that makes me think that, like, that might be the thing. I don't know. Because it's open up and let me come up here. But there's not even a monster up here. Oh, unless I'm supposed to... Like, this will be something that the Yetisburg, like... Mission will be... Give me the slime stack. I need the Mecha Mina, but I also need a slime stack. I haven't dropped any frames since that little bit I dropped. Maybe it was just a fluke. I don't know. Now. Nice. You're one of us now. Dude, there's a spot on my shoulder, like on the back, that it keeps itching, and I—it's not that I can't reach it. It's just—it's like my shirt. Like it's hard to scratch through my shirt. And it won't go away. And now my chair won't. Uh, hold on. Anyway. 
my chair kept getting stuck in like like I, I scooted back and then I tried to scoot forward to like a comfortable posi comfortable position uh but like the one of the legs was getting stuck in the uh like it scooted forward and like scooted into this the spot that it was in before and I couldn't push past it the stupid spot on my shoulder it's annoying because like I would like just like rub into my chair to scratch it I guess uh if I didn't have my hair behind me because even if I pull it out of the way like it's still like this this chair I guess doesn't really let me do that as easily or uh like my old chair used to. <laughs> Listen up, folks. Barbatos's army will be back to steal <laughs> Of course he has a list. Soon. None of us want to starve. But we are powerless to resist them. Oh, it seems we have visitors. What's your name? I see. I wonder if I kept the name Pizarro, if they would say Pizarro. I don't know if I said that I'm before, Howie, but the elder here. I've thought about that. What brings you to our little village? We're trying to topple the big hit around here. Oh, oh. Well, you certainly showed up at a good time. I'm about to rip my shirt off and like just scratch my back up. It's getting very annoying. The individual you seek Percival? is Percival, the captain of Barbatos's army. <clears throat> His goons have been ransacking the local villages and killing anyone who opposes them. <laughs> it's so exaggerated, his lisp. <laughs> that is so annoying. Is on its last legs, but if we could... Strike first. Just maybe. If you're looking to take down the big hitter, we should fight together. What do you say? Oh. Thank you. I keep the perfectly timing the apron. The watchtower near our village. Let's rendezvous at the top of the tower. We'll make our way there shortly. <laughs> Listen to me, friends. Today, we overthrow our oppressors! <laughs> he talks like that dude in Spongebob. I was gonna say, which one of these guys is gonna let me breed my monster? Armored Wardus. What does he have? A Flython. But a, a large one. Just a hundred coins. Powie Yowies. Uh, sure. leader oh that's why his name's Howie because they're Powie Yowies
Are they actually gonna are are they actually going to fight? Or am I gonna do all the work? Give me my mini metal. Nice. I still need like three more, I think. I think that's it? In this village? Wait, there's another door over here. Well, this, this is the door I came through. Yeah. But I want to see if I can get one of those. I don't know if these are armored wardesses. Oops. There were like turtles with armor out here somewhere. Unless the season changed and now they're gone. I mean, the season didn't change, but like the time of the season. Yeah, I think. They only, or they were showing up early autumn. Maybe they'll show up again late autumn. I feel like some of them end up, like do that, or like the early part of the season, they're there and then they disappear and then they show up again right at the end. <laughs> I can't wait till like. I can't wait to listen to this soundtrack at work. <laughs> Cause like every now and then, if I don't know, I'll be like, "What do I want to listen to?" And then I just put on Dragon Quest music. Why do they want me to go out this way? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to make that burp quiet. <laughs> okay. Aha. What is that thing in the boot over there? Oh. I was right. Well, kind of. I would say they spawned at the beginning and at the end. Okay, so I can just catch one here, and uh, yeah. I'll try to catch one here, and then just breed it with that dude. <laughs> Reflecting spells. Hopefully they don't use spells? I don't know if my AI is smart enough to not. Okay. Maybe? Can't wait till P3 reload. Uh, also, that attack was so weak. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're they probably have high defense because they're armored wardesses. Uh, anyway, uh, P3. What was I saying? Or why was? Oh, because uh, I don't know, like these guys having bounce, so I can't use spells on them. Um, I think it's. SMT, like Persona, the SMT series, but like if something has like a reflect or something up, um, if you reflect it off of your own party, it'll still hit them. And uh, that's always kind of fun to do. Like having the enemy be like, all right, I'm reflecting or deflecting, you know, whatever you're gonna, physical or magic. Uh, and so you're like, all right, well then I'll just cast it on myself and then bounce it off and hit you with it. I don't know, it's cool, it's fun. Uh, I don't know, but I'm also just really looking forward to that game. Like, two weeks, a little over two weeks. <laughs> I feel like I can finish this game by then too, because I was worried, like, I was trying to do the math and I was like, okay, if I only play like, I don't know, this many hours a day, like a few hours a day, I don't know if I'll finish in time, but 
Uh, I didn't account for weekends being longer. Now. Or streaming longer on weekends. I feel like I need to take a, a break to just unitch my nose. I need to get someone who can debuff. Like maybe try to rebreed my Iron Maiden into uh or breed my Iron Maiden into something and then like pick up uh some debuffs other than just like status effects Oh, I did change their tactics already, but I should tell her to use this more. I tell her she can start using this again. I don't know why I didn't have that activate. Like, I mean, I guess I just got it, but that's... We keep putting him to sleep, so I might as well have that up so he can do more damage. Um, I think there was one other thing I wanted to do. I don't know. Uh, I feel like I should try to get an Armored Wardus before the season ends. Because I don't want to have to... Go through the effort of breeding one. Synthesizing. Now. She's so tanky. Pretty nice. Uh, I mean, that's kind of how I built her. And she's like naturally tanky. Tanky. Uh, but yeah. I mean, she's also over level too, so. Like, he's tanky too. I feel like these armored wardesses have too much HP. Or defense. Or both. Like, these fights take so long compared to everything else. Now I'm like playing Fig Round Order. Because I'm just going to sit here and wait. <laughs> Why did my cat. Uh, oh, because they have the reflect on. Like, why is this dude whacking them instead of casting on them? That's why, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure there is, like, a clear buffs from the enemy spell and ability or whatever, but I don't know if I have anything with that. And I definitely don't have anything right here with that. Just doing my daily login as this takes five minutes to finish. It's still going, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Part of me feels like I should just run if I don't catch it. Like, if they get anger, just flee, because, like, the fight is not worth it. Like, they're not giving more experience or anything. It's just taking forever. So I got to pee. So it's, like, annoying that it's taking forever to try and catch one. Finally, okay. <laughs> Armored War Toys. War Toi.
Nice. I was like, I gotta go back to the Yeti village in a Yetisburg, and I don't know where it is, but it's right there. This area looks so much like the Cerulean Depot or whatever it's called in 14. Oh, wait. a wordle which is I feel like I should save though well no I don't care if it's large or not I say I should save so that I can get a large one but not actually concerned uh hmm oh it has like high defense high wisdom give it more wisdom I don't want... I feel like I don't want anything from this guy. Ultra tough customer? I guess I'll just grab these two? I don't... What? Critical Meltdown, what? Oh, prevents an enemy from inflicting critical hits? That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna grab these two off of him. to spend the points because they'll just carry over anyway. Wait. The points will carry over, but... <clears throat> yeah, no, that's fine. Points will carry over, and then I can spend them down the main tree if I want. Not that big. Yeah, it's not a large. I should rest at the end, but whatever. I should rest at the end. I'll just turn around real quick. Feels weird that there's no work tomorrow, even though I've had, like, Monday off, like, two or three times uh, in the last, like, six weeks. Seven weeks? I don't know. Because, like, Thanksgiving... Oh, no, we had... Friday off on Thanksgiving. We didn't get... Yeah, well, getting Monday off would be too much. Uh, but we had Monday off for Christmas and New Year's. Um, so, I guess three times in a month. Do you sell good food yet? Still just a sirloin. I 
I'm surprised we get Monday off, like tomorrow off, because uh, it's Martin Luther King Day, which I remember getting off in school a lot, like all the time. But then I, as soon as I like joined the military and all that, uh, it seemed like that wasn't a thing anymore. Like it's a, uh, I gotta see what this guy. No. Oh, nice. I was say, I wanted to see what that thing in the boot is. Skipper. Yeah. Nice. Free. You're one of us now. That worked out. I still don't have a mecha mine now. That's all I wanted from this area. <laughs> like... I have everything else. Now. Please. Oh, I guess we got to jump on them. They should be focusing on the wardess. I guess killing the mino is a good idea too, because I think it buffs. to go back and synthesize now so that in this fight like they yeah I'm gonna do that uh, and I'm gonna go use the restroom and uh, take a little break and do some pull-ups and all that I'll be right back
I don't know. I'm all out of breath now. <laughs> I only did four pull-ups, but uh, I did five earlier. So I was expecting to do less, but hoping I could hit five again. Um, but whatever. <laughs> but I'm always like surprised at how much... Like, I'm surprised that I get out of breath afterwards. I can make the uh, this dude now. Oh well, his gold is unlocked, so never mind. <coughs> why does it take so much? I mean, it's I guess it's exercise. I say, why does it like being out of breath? Hell, Nino, and the kerning on that freezing fog. Um, anyway, I just, like, I was like, I don't remember being so out of breath every time I would do pull-ups, because I was talking about it before, of, like, in the Marines, <laughs> uh, you do pull-ups, like, almost every time you pass a pull-up bar, um, and so, like, if you were going out, like, taking a break or something, so you go outside, just to get out of the building, get out of the office, uh, there's a pull-up bar there. Uh, like, there's a pull-up bar, like, outside of every building, basically. Uh, and if you don't do pull-ups, someone's gonna call you out. So you go and do pull-ups, and, like, you just do a max set. Uh, and, like, I don't, f I don't remember, like, doing a max set and then coming down and being out of breath, but I guess it could just be, because I'm so out of shape. <laughs> Spin chilla. I'll say he better have, like, ice moves. He has water and ice. <clears throat> multi multi heal? I don't think I have anybody have anybody with that yet. I don't wanna hang out to this war wordle until this guy until I figure out what else this guy needs. So I'm probably going to breed it away into this or something. Wait, Coco, Coco, Co, Coco, Co, Blobalisk? Because it's three. So instead of Coco being like, like Coco, two Co's, you got Coco, Co for three. Oh, wait, isn't there? No, there's not a combination I have for this guy. Oh, I guess I should look at what... Like, I was like, if they don't have the gold thing ready, then I don't want them. But I should like to see what. Because uh, I might have it and just not have it leveled or have it in my party. Or have had it. Like this. So like once my world gets to 10 I can make that. <clears throat> this guy nope. I wish you could like filter it so that the gold always shows at the top even if I can't make it. Okay. So the only reason this eraser blade is in my thing is because um, I fought that one in the tournament. But I feel like it shouldn't be. Oh wait, I think I just. I can't, I don't know if I was looking at that right. It's so like all these combinations will give me one, but Nar Dragon plus a material monster or something. But I have a material, like a Prancing Pillar is material, right? So maybe it is only Eraser Blade. <laughs> How do I get Eraser Blade? I don't even have him on my list at all. Maybe I should make this dude. Maybe he'll show up after that.
How's he not weak to water? I mean, maybe his fire doesn't... Uh, he doesn't die if his fire goes out. It's not Charmander rules. Uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of things I don't care about, and I wouldn't mind giving up. Yeah, I think everything in your collection gets experience, because this guy should not be level 19. Uh, okay, it doesn't really have, like, attack and wisdom are the same, so... <coughs> Giving him this doesn't make too much of a difference, I don't think. I didn't know Bongo Drongo was like a buffer and healer. Support. Makes sense, I guess. Don't want all that on this dude, though. So many spicy slashers. Okay, he's big. Oh, that, and that's one of the things I meant to do earlier. I, like, I was synthesizing as I was playing and stuff earlier, but I didn't make any of the lower monsters because I was just like focusing on trying to make a bunch of these gold bordered monsters. Uh, and I thought about it too. I was like, oh, I should, you know, go and fill out the lower end just to, you know, have these things in here somewhere. <laughs> um, and then I just forgot to do that. I forgot about it. How's this thing agility to snail? Ultra visionary. Oh. It comes with tongue twister, so. Giving him Tongue Twister from the lips is a, a waste. So I guess I should just go with this. I mean, I could have leveled Tongue Twister so he would start with levels in Tongue Twister, I guess. But uh, I'm not going to be using him, so it doesn't matter. Why not? Wait. I don't want to use the skipper. Oh, like when I press B, it went to the top one. <laughs> um, I guess I can give him this. <laughs> I don't like this guy. I've never liked him. So why'd they spell it like that? Just roll with an H. Because uh, in Dragon Quest Monsters 1, it's just called a Droll, and it's D-R-O-L-L. -L. <coughs> also, I don't know. I don't know if they change the names between every game or what. Um, I don't remember the names of many of them from 2. I didn't play 2 as much as 1. Like, I beat 2. I know. I remember beating it. But, uh... One, um, I beat multiple times and played multiple times throughout the years. Or is that Crag? Or Rock Bomb, whatever. Wait, what did I need Bodkin Fletcher for? Was it this guy? No.
I don't... What was it for? It should be something that, like, I can synthesize. Because I had the other thing, unless I bred the other thing away. But I had, like, one thing and needed a bodkin archer. Wait, was it this guy? No. I, I don't... This guy. No. Oh, the Hellbound Horror... What? Wait, what was it? It wasn't... Oh, I need a G-Rank Botkin Archer? What's mine? Come again. Wait, so it has... It can't even be, like, a higher rank? Because my Botkin Archer has to be at least G-Rank. Right? G-Rank is the lowest rank. Or is it saying I have a G rank one and that's too low? Uh. Oh wait, did I breed it? No. Oh, here he is. Yeah, he's an E rank, so I guess that's too good. Uh, okay, well, let's see if I can breed a not I didn't know that was uh, I didn't know I could overbreed Good to see. <coughs> uh, Okay, so he wants he wants a G rank bodkin archer So I have to like... Is that even doable? These other ones, they, they're like, we need, you need to rank E this. But wouldn't that raise the rank of it from G? Maybe that's the challenge, is trying to get a G rank Vodkin Archer. What's the one that I have? What are his parents? Come again. <laughs> Sucky bad and a brownie. So those are like not high rank, but higher than G by default, I think. At least the ones that I had. I want to see how this works because like we have a G rank and an E rank so like does it take the average of ranks I remember reading about it last night in the synthesis guy but I can't remember what it Come was again. um so I'm gonna save and turn off auto save
Because I want to see if it's like, oh, if I breed a G with an E, it'll like drag it down to a G, or if it'll come out as an F. Oh, it says rank E. So it goes up to the, it takes the rank of the highest one you have. So I have to figure out ways to like underbreed my monsters. Okay, this one's pretty big too, so maybe he is big like that. Yeah, so he's rank E. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I guess that just means I have to like breed the Sasquatch thing, the or the Cyclops thing, the one eye thing. Uh, weak. Like not not try to get because I think I bred one as a gold one. So I have to not do that. Because if, if I do it that way, it's not that hard. Because I already have the G rank, whatever. So I just need to get a G rank something else. Which could be real easy. Maybe. It's just going to take a minute to like figure out. Oh wait, unless that doesn't work, because I need to find something that is like two G ranks. Because this is saying, oh no, it's showing like, yeah, it's saying like I have a rank G gremlin and I have a rank E cross eye that I can, why is it called a cross eye? It has one eye. I could breed a rank G brownie or a rank G cross eye, maybe. Rank G brownie. Well, like it shows, I need rank E. How do I breed? <laughs> How do I do that? How do I get? Oh wait. I thought this was a hammerhead, so I was like ignoring him. How do I breed a ring G brownie? What if I just like manually synthesize? I don't know. But none of these combinations are showing up as like like, use your rank G this and breed it with a rank G that. So maybe I just don't have the combination that would give me something like that, so I can't get them yet. That's so dumb. I want this gold hellbound horror. Oh well. I guess I just had to give up on my dreams of a cool hellbound horror. I mean, it would go to rank F, which would be like, I don't know. Not that great anyway. And they're like in the wild anyway. I just wanted a gold one. Whatever. <laughs> G 
sure. He has high MP. He's a dancer. Oh wait, this one already has Dancer. I mean, I guess you can just put the points here? I don't know. Well... If I do that, 39 drops down to... 19? So I might as well like do like that and then put the other point here so I don't just lose a point synthesize anything else because I don't have room in my party right now. Let me just see if there's anything gold I can make. These guys, I guess. Well, I need a, I'll need another Cumulus, but... I don't want that guy, but I need... Oh. High attack, high HP. Or attack and HP are his highest. He has Hulk. I think my Hammerhead has some decent... Helm Splitter, Slime Squisher, Hatchet Man, Anchor Man. So this doesn't have Hatchet Man, but it has the other three. And Stomp. Oh. Okay, so taking this is kind of... Redundant. This one. He is so small. Uh, I'll just leave him in there. Uh, this also lets me test if they get experience while they're waiting in the uh, the depot. still in the right zone.
Oh, well, let's say I should try to catch one, but I'm just going to go straight for the uh, big hitter. Find another way in. I think it's that over there. Drackies? Oh, I want that chest. No, I can't get it. I jumped down. I can't even get it. I have to wait for Autumn again? Try to catch him. Or the Mecha Mina. Yeah. Finally. I'm just gonna teleport back up here. I don't know how to get back up. And I don't want to walk all the way around. Beating these guys will open the gate. Because that doesn't look like it goes anywhere. But I guess I can come back up here even if that doesn't go anywhere. Now I want to see what's over here, because I saw an item. <clears throat> oh, that. Okay. Buffy him. Oh. A little snoozer. frame rate in this area is kind of chugging. I should catch another one of these, but I'll just wait until uh, after clearing out this area. This feels so much like the 14. Garlean zone. Nice. <clears throat> Especially since I have to like infiltrate because uh that's like a whole thing. Okay, unless I can't get to the front now because this doesn't go to the front. That guy's sleeping on duty. 
Maybe I do have to kill all those enemies that were in the front. They were talking about, like, you know, the fight and all that, but I thought it meant, like, once I get inside. Restless armor. Join or die. Okay. I was trying to, like... I just, I, like, okay, I've talked about this before, but when I sneeze, I part my mustache, so I'm like, I take my thumbs and go like this, and then sneeze, uh, trying to do that with one hand is really hard, and I tried to do it with one hand, so I could mute my mic with the other, because it came so suddenly, uh, but then I sneeze into my mustache, and it sucks, because, like, if I sneeze into my mustache, then it's, it's gross, and I can, like, smell my, like, sneeze spit, you know? And, uh, it's gross. <laughs> Can't wait till I get to, like, the later zones. And then, uh... It's just one battle and they go to ten immediately. Trying to respawn the other night, but I think he was in the battle. Can I open it from this side? Yeah. to see I went oh it has a mini metal I'll say I like looked super thoroughly over there for a chest there's nothing I just come up here and there's a very visible chest and it had a mini metal which is kind of surprising <clears throat> I feel like they try to hide those a little bit that is a tall ladder No. <laughs> oh. Okay. Try to catch the restless armor. Yeah. Cool. You're one of us now. You're one of us now. Now go away. I don't know why, but this area, like, it doesn't remind me of Kingdom Hearts, but I was thinking about Kingdom Hearts. Uh, like, something made me think of Kingdom Hearts. I'm not even sure what specifically. Uh, but I saw this tweet earlier today, and it was some guy explaining, like, Sora, Roxas, Ventus, or something. I don't know. But, like, he was explaining Kingdom Hearts lore, and I was like, bro, this is, like, what are they doing? Because, <laughs> like... <clears throat> He was like, this is Sora, and he's like, uh, like, he's, he's basically playing two characters or whatever. He's playing one who doesn't know, you know, oh, I don't have this exoskeleton, I didn't know that. Um, whatever, he's like talking to himself, but, uh, nice. <laughs> he's like, this is Sora, and then he's like, and that's Roxas, and he's like, no, that's Ventus, or, 
don't know if his name is Ventus. I'm just like, that's what I feel like he was saying. Or maybe Venitas. I don't know. Venitas. <clears throat> I don't know enough about Kingdom Hearts Lord. Anyway, uh, but he's like, no, that's this guy. And he's like, well, then who's Roxas? And then he shows a picture of like of Roxas. And he's like, this is Roxas. And then he's like, well, then who's he? And he's like, that's uh, he's like, he's he's Sora's heartless. And then he's like, well, then how is he related, related to the other guy? But whatever. Anyway, he's just like, he's like explaining all this stuff. And it's so just like convoluted and uh, dumb. And uh, then the guy is like, he, he says something about like, he's like, yeah, he's like Xehanort's blah, blah, blah. And then the guy is like, who's Xehanort? He's like, we don't have time for that. <laughs> and he just like keeps explaining other stuff. And it's just like, is that a mimic? What is, why is this chest different? Hey, let me push that button. Uh, anyway, it was just so stupid. And I'm like, man, like. Uh, do Kingdom Hearts fans like that? <laughs> like, I, I can understand liking the franchise and all that, but do they like how, like, convoluted and, like, jacked up the lore and, you know, how everything is connected? Um, or is it just something they put up with, you know? Because they like everything else about it. Because it just seems so, like... <clears throat> Nomura is a hack. <laughs> Like, it just seems so, yeah, it just seems so, like, I want to make a sequel, but I don't know how to connect it to the next, you know, the previous games. Oh, like, this isn't even something to activate. Um, so then, like, it's like he's, like, writing backwards, or not writing backwards, but, like, writing and then, you know, trying to connect it after the fact. Um, and, uh... I don't know, it just seems so awful, and I'm like, I don't know, like, I'm just like, I like the first game, uh, I would like to like the second game, uh, did not really like the third game, uh, never finished the second or third game, uh, but I finished the first one multiple times, uh, I like that one a lot, um, like I was saying, I, I wanted to like, like, I've only, I've played two a couple times, and the second time I played it was the farthest I got, uh, but I got stuck on a boss, and I didn't want to lower the difficulty, because I was playing on, like, Proud, I think. Whatever the hardest difficulty I could pick at the time. Um, and I was stuck on a boss, and I didn't want to lower the difficulty to beat the boss, and so I just gave up. Because I also wasn't enjoying the game enough to, uh, want to, like, you know, persevere or lower the difficulty. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um... <clears throat> I don't like I I don't know the story of one like it just seems like it like and that's what I was saying is like I don't know if it's like if Kingdom Hearts fans just put up with it <laughs> uh, and you know just like you know they just they have to put up with it because they like everything else about it so much because uh, that's like because like I get the appeal I like I understand why you would like Kingdom Hearts because uh, I like Kingdom Hearts 1 um, and then I like what they're like like I was saying I liked Kingdom I wanted like I want to like Kingdom Hearts 2 like I liked what you know I saw and played even though it was like you know things are starting to get uh, not really convoluted yet but like playing through 2 it's like oh like there's like this kind of like mystery to everything and like why things are you know like what is all what does all this mean and why is you know who is Roxas how is he connected to Sora why you know why are all these things happening the way they are why are all things why are these things who is Namine and like all that uh and it's interesting and it's cool uh <clears throat> but like I said two I just got stuck on that boss and it's the water guy like the guy with the guitar um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, I was just like, I was just, yeah, I was just like, I'm done, I don't care about this enough to keep playing, and, uh, I don't want to lower the difficulty, uh, I'm just done, and then, uh, yeah, then, 
Then I played 3 when that came out, because I was like, I want to play 3, but it, people are, everyone's like, oh, you gotta watch the lore videos and blah 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 to know what's happening, but I was like, I don't care enough about it. Like, I just want to play the game and be in that setting and be in that world, because I like that. I like the setting, the kind of, like, the vibe, the, uh, the mood and all that stuff. Um, and, like, the Disney stuff. And the Kingdom, or Final Fantasy stuff, but I, there wasn't, I don't even know if there was any in 3, at least of what I saw. Um, and I don't remember much in 2 either, but it's been so long since I played 2. But 1 has, like, a lot of that Final Fantasy stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's just, like, something about the, uh, atmosphere in the first game that I like a lot. Uh, that is, it's, like, it's not really there in the second game. Like, it's still there, but it's not as, like, it's not the same. Uh, and then it's really not there in 3, at least from what I played. Um... And so, like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I get it, but also, like, at the same time, I'm like, do people like how, like, ridiculous the story and lore and all that is? And how, like, like I was saying, how just, like, it feels poorly written. It feels like, you know, it's, it's like, Nomura is like, okay, now let's make the sequel. And then this is all happening, and people are like, wait, but, uh... How does that connect to all the other stuff? And then he has to, like, make it up as he goes. <laughs> and be like, oh, uh, I mean, I guess, you know, he is this person. And this is how he's connected to that. And just, like, out of his mind. In my opinion. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Because then you have all the spinoffs, too. And the mobile game that, like, I don't know, doesn't exist anymore. That, you know, has important lore in it, too. <laughs> So you have to watch Intruders. like a recap. Calm yourselves. Anyway. He's the leader. My name is Percival. Prithee, state thy business here. Prithee. <laughs> That's enough. Percival! Your reign of terror hath come to an end. So, tis battle thou seekest. Then oblivion awaiteth, as with all who have ever opposed me. Also, I was talking about how, like, this area... Something about this area made me think of Kingdom Hearts and reminded me of Kingdom Hearts. And that put me on that little... Rant. But, like, this room also reminds me of Kingdom Hearts because I'm pretty sure, like, Xehanort or someone is watching everything on monitors. <laughs> like I remember seeing them show a guy in a room, like a control room with a bunch of monitors. You take care of Percival, and let us worry about the others. In the name of Lord Barbatos. Barbatos. Okay. Uh. What are their tactics set? Are they set correctly? Yes. Uh, Alright, I'm just let them go. <laughs> They'll be able to do it. Okay. Spells prevented on the two dudes who need to use spells. He's not even large, and he gets multiple attacks. Oh, that was another thing. I was talking about um, how, like, okay? How large monsters get, like, multiple attacks in a turn. Oh, my God. Um. Okay. Uh, large monsters get multiple attacks in a turn. And then I was like, when I learned that, I was like, oh, that makes sense why... When I was fighting that really big Iron Maiden, she kept getting like multiple turns. And I was just like, I kept getting annoyed because I'm like, why does she get so many turns? I didn't mean to hit auto battle. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use items because uh, it seems like this silence is never gonna end because I don't know. The enemy always gets like five turns of silence on me, and my silences and other things only last like. Two turns. Do I not? Oh, the leaves. Okay. 
I don't have something that is just like curing silence. Whatever. Keep going then. You can't be that strong. And the silence has to wear off eventually, right? And he's not gonna do it again, is he? Break. He is. He just keeps like casting it with his extra turn that he always has. I'm gonna brute force it. I don't care. King Slime's gonna carry. Okay. Uh, and like the fact that he like gets two turns to just do that to like attack and then also like silence to make sure that I still can't. I mean, I guess it seems like the strat here is to just have uh, a lot of physical attacking monsters. These guys, I don't know how they're going to handle this. Also, he's got a frenzied state twice, bro. Why is this guy so hard? It feels like he just has like a lot of armor and maybe a lot of health. <laughs> I was just seeing what would happen because there's no way I win. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing. Like, I don't think giving orders would have changed that at all. Because uh, half my party just could not take turns because uh, they have no, nothing but their spells. So, let's see what I can do about that. How dare they not let me just brute force my way through everything. Oh, see, yeah, this guy does level up everything in the, uh... They probably get, like, way less experience, but he's level 7, whereas these guys are level 9, so... He got something. <laughs> this guy's got some... This guy has some attack. <laughs> So, I mean, I guess I could put these guys away. They're gonna level up anyway. Well, what does he do, though? I don't remember. Breaths. Maybe I breed something. Well, I don't want to, because then I have to spend the time to level it up and all that. Hmm. Do it like that. Oh wait, let me check out the shop. Maybe I can buy like, I was gonna call them Echo Herbs. I don't remember if they're called, what they're called in this. Don't tell me he doesn't set, oh wait. Okay, maybe, oh. Prevents a single enemy from using magic spells. What was he, what was it called? I don't know if it was a spell. He doesn't have what I need, though. He has cure poison, severe poison, paralysis, confusion, and sleep, but no silence. This guy sucks. thinker who has this oh confusion
show no oh, I guess I could make him tank. Support your allies. Do intense defense and then selflessness over and over again. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to give him orders anyway. Oh, maybe I can just Giga Drain his magic over and over again. Steal all his MP so I can't cast that thing anymore. He's material, so if I had like material things, like extra damage against material stuff, <clears throat> that could help. Now my throat. Also, why was he not using any of his attacks? Oh, maybe he was out of MP at that point. Lame. Whatever. So I just have to run from all the fights so I don't waste all my MP. I wish these were like actual <clears throat> teleporters. Oh wait, I can. <gasps> I never checked them after the first time I saw them because I thought they were always go back to the beginning. I was gonna say. In the name of. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. We gotta like. Keep him from doing anything. <clears throat> so stun him or put him in the seat. Wait, oh, he's immune. Oh, he's immune to all of them. Of course. Lowering his attack would be a good idea. Part of the problem is trying to... Yeah, I guess that's like part of the... Like, a big part of the problem is not being able to put him to sleep or anything like that. So we have to... Dazzle or something. Go. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Good.
uh, keep doing that. Do that again. And just start. Oh wait, she can't. That doesn't work. Does Dazzle stack? Because I know the buffs and debuffs stack, I think, like, stacks. <laughs> or at least I think they do. I assume they do. Good. I just have to keep doing that. Yeah, just keep doing that. Maybe it doesn't stack and just resets the, uh amount of time. Wait, his attack was only reduced for like one turn. What? Or two turns, I guess, the minimum. Oh, he's weak to lightning. Just keep doing that. <coughs> Tank it all. I wonder if selflessness counts as a spell. It doesn't. Whack does, but nice. So I can just keep doing that. Good. So that'll keep, you know, keep him from silencing everyone else. Good. I wish my Iron Maiden had that kind of, like, stuff, because she's pretty tanky. Like, King Slime has the uh, selflessness thing. We have to beat him in six turns. Otherwise, we won't have selflessness anymore. But we have to. We have six turns to try and, you know, take advantage of that. <laughs> I keep trying to like reduce his attack with that, but it's not happening. I want to use Anchorman on my Nar Dragon, but. I don't want to take a turn. I don't want to give him a turn to silence everybody. Oh, I should cut buff again. Does this intense defense last the whole battle? I feel like it might not. But maybe it does. Okay, that's enough. Oh! Great. We're gonna revive him. If we beat him to it. Also, this attack attacker hasn't worked since the first time. Look, I keep hearing a noise outside my door. Let's see, man, man. I should have increased his agility, I guess. Let's just do this until he can.
Till he gets unsilenced and the dude misses another silence. Oh, I guess I can swap in my cat. Meowjishin. Nice! That was cool. Oh, I didn't even realize she was, uh... Amped up or whatever it's called. I don't know. <clears throat> that wasn't so bad once I actually, like, played it. I had not anticipated this. <laughs> Yippee! We're the winners! <laughs> now we can finally live in peace. We have you to thank for that. You deserve a reward. Be sure to drop by the village later. All right? Oh, I think it's raining. <laughs> and so the, uh, I talked about it before, but there's that, like, drain, that gutter drain that, like, makes a tapping sound when it rains. Ah, so that is thy name. I have a boon to ask of thee. Wouldst thou entertain my request? A long time ago, my hometown was put to the torch. I alone survived, saved by none other than Barbatos, my lord and master. I owe everything to him and more. I would lay down my life for him without a second's hesitation. What I am about to ask, therefore, may surprise thee. I would have thee defeat Barbatos, defeat my very savior. Why? Meet me in the middle echelon of the Circle of Fortitude. Has he been corrupted? <laughs> they didn't hide a chest back here? My poor Nar Dragon tanked all that and didn't get, didn't get any of the experience. Okay. Yeah. I was like, is there anything here that I need? I mean, I guess I can go out and like explore the map, try to get the rest of those chests and stuff, but I don't want to wait for the season. I mean, it could have been the right season, but I don't need it. Whatever it is. <laughs> oh, wait. Did my monsters hit 10? They did. I like the song. I I don't know if Dragon Quest Monsters 1 was all music from other Dragon Quest games or if it had its own like original music too uh, But that song sounds familiar uh, like from Dragon Quest Monsters 1 um, And this song too like I don't know if this is in any other Dragon Quest games or if this is from just monsters uh, But I remember it from Dragon Quest Monsters What did I level these monsters for? This guy. Wait, what is this? His attack and wisdom aren't great. Oops. He has water, baby. Splishmeister. Explosions and light. I 
I guess I can give him this whoosh ward. He doesn't need the whoosh ward, but that wisdom could help. Let me make sure. Is it a spell and a breath and a spell? And then the heals. So yeah, I guess he should get some wisdom. Because his wisdom sucks. Having whoosh and swoosh would probably be good. Turning him into the next tank, I don't know. I'm giving him Zap Ward too, I don't know. He doesn't need Zap Ward either, but these aren't very appealing. big over toad respirator breath stuff Freezing Blizzard. Major. Okay. Extreme. Outrageous. That seems kind of good. So once my spin chill hits 10. Oh. Palooka Prawn. Oh, what is this? Zap tile. I feel like for some of these I should just go with... Oh. Wait, how have I never done that? Uh, I would say I should just go with, like, these... You know, not gold ones. I don't remember what this needed. She slime. That's easy. Stony slasher. Wait, where are you? Oh, the stats aren't that great. But I can breed this into something later. Like, I'm sure it's going to be like a uh, behemoth model, modeled behemoth slime. Um. Model she slime. That's cute. Oh, Bashimit slime to get that. Okay, so we need just a regular she slime and my model slime to be 10. 
What's the, um, this guy? Stabasaur. What did I need? Eraser Blade. His stats kind of blow <laughs> for what he's supposed to be coming from. Also, Tun Dragster. Uh, where was the Nar Dragon? He has high attack. His wisdom sucks, but I've been like, I gave him the wisdom thing so he could get more wisdom. Uh, so that that other thing, Giruffian, Giruffian, I guess, because like giraffe. Coralossus. Cool. I can make this guy, but he's ugly. But I don't have to give anything up, really. Nothing that I care about. <laughs> His attack sucks. Oh, wait, what is he... He's a dancer. Could give him all these heals. I feel like I would give him this. I guess I give him this too. He's more like of a support, I guess. At least with the dances and giving him the paramedic too. Okay, one more. I mean, I guess I could make more than one and just leave them in the, uh, depot. Or depot. I guess I'll give away my Nar Dragon for this. And just... Well, his stats kind of suck, like, because I want him to carry, like, to take the, uh, Martyr, but his HP is awful and his defense is pretty bad, too. Excuse me. <clears throat> I gotta find a she slime. I know where they are. I can probably just go grab one real quick. Choreographer. Kerplunk dance. Oh, it's one of those kill yourself to revive everyone. A bunicorn, that's it. So I need two bunicorns. Hawkman or Pogo and Pain. I think I'd rather Hawkman. Dark Artist. Increases the potency of healing skills and decreases their MP consumption. But he doesn't have any. So I'd want to like breed some onto him. I could if I used my Meowgician, but... 
see what we can do with these guys. Whatever. I feel like I never want to have like two different attacking sets unless it's like I don't know. Like I feel like I default to not doing that unless there's it looks like it would be a good idea. All right. <laughs> Let me keep going. Cuz I feel like whatever is in the depot is also going to, you know, Hit 10 before we get back. Silva Pithecus. Is that, is that like an actual name after something? Genius of Extinct Apes. Did it have wings? Why does it look like a bat here? Or like part bat. Whatever. Evil genius. Wait, wait, can I even make him? No. Hawkman. My Meowgician has to leave. That might be okay though. He has a lot of wisdom. And he's kind of cool. I need another Cyclone. Oh, this probably, I need an Acolyte or something and then breed it with a Drachy for that. Okay, so the goal is to get a She Slime. And yeah, that's it. High agility. That looks cool. I'll just make this guy right now. I don't want him dancing. He doesn't need wisdom. Oh, maybe he does. His crag. I did that wrong. Oh, uh, no, it's fine. No, I did that wrong. I should have put one point into this. Whatever. <laughs> He's so small. 
I would eat him. Kind of want to bring him with me. There's something else on that same page that I wanted. Just want to go back and make sure I look. And see if there's anything new. No. Oh, the avian android. But also, this guy? What is he? Oh, Cyclone. I need a couple Cyclones. Rank F. Whoa. Cloud Surfer. I'll make an imp. He should already... Well, I don't know if he has Zam, but he has Dark Artist, which I assume has Zam. Yeah. some of that ice cream so bad I just had like I don't know if this makes sense but sometimes I'll just like taste something in my brain basically whoa he's big oh punch the mic but like like a memory if that makes sense kind of like how you can I don't know hear a song in your head or whatever I just had like a like a memory of a taste and it's the ice cream <laughs> and it made me just like crave it real bad I'm gonna keep synthesizing until I run out of gold things to synthesize like gold things that I can synthesize right now why is this a chimera? It used to be called a wyvern, and I I hate it. <laughs> so it's so ugly. I guess I should just make one of these and then pick up another cumulus, cumulus, frizz aficionado. Is ward, I guess. I did that. Oh, yeah, I did that wrong. I should have put one point into Dragon Heart or whatever, something else. Wait, why wasn't that before? Oh, maybe it was there before and I just kept overlooking it. I need another Restless Armor. So Restless Armor, She Slime. I thought that was one other thing. Assassin. Whoops. Trying to find a good thing to pair it with. Maybe that?
I need this frog. Or to get another one. Okay. It's weak to wind, so... If I can find something that... Resists it. Or increase the agility, so like this would be okay. And this Hulk, so it has more attacks. I don't know. Uh, uh, I want both of these, but I also want this. I guess I would want these more. <laughs> oh, all the way. And I guess just lose that point. Kind of wanted this one to be humongous, but... Go away. I should start, like, keeping notes, because now I'm like, what did I need? I need a She-Slime. Uh... The, the Cyclone guy. Gas bag on. Rest this armor. I'm, I said I should keep notes, and then I don't keep notes. I should keep notes. Uh, okay. Oh. Another Cumulus, or a couple. I can just make one. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> okay. Come again. So let me write Cumalus down there too. I can just go pick those up real quick, I think. As long as they're like spawned. I don't have to wait super long for the season to change or something. bumped the uh, gain knob in a while and like messed up the oh oh uh, I messed up the um the gain <laughs> uh but I still don't like check it constantly all right join me cyclone not cyclone or not cyclone Okay. I will kill you. Now. There's a There's a like a cat image where he's like looking down, like looking all angry. You're one of us. Uh now. or like his head's tilted down and he's looking up and he looks all mad. And it has like it just says text that says like I could kill you. Um or it's like I could and then like dot 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 kill you or something like that. But anyway, it's funny. Uh and then I saw this Mio one, uh Xenoblade three Mio uh, and she's like also kind of doing she's has like a little angry look 
Uh, and it says I could kill you. I love when people do that. People do like there. There were a lot of Nia ones that were like that too. Like back when, back before three came out, there were a lot of uh, Xenoblade Two threads on V. Um, like I would see them. Like I don't go to V often at all, but uh, <clears throat> like right now is a time that I would be. That's a big one. Uh, right now is the time that I. Uh, go on V because GDQ is happening. Like, I only ever go to V when there's an event and I go to the thread for the event and that's it. But like, sometimes when I go to look for the thread, I'll see other threads and just like pop in. Uh, and I used to see Nia threads all the time. And then, uh, I don't know. I just haven't seen one in a while. Maybe they still make, or Xenoblade 2 threads, not Nia threads. <laughs> or Xenoblade threads, I guess. Um, but maybe they're still there. And uh, I just, because it's only been a day since I've, you know, looked at V in a long time, uh, for the first time in a long time, um, so, uh, okay, dude, I just want to keep Mollus, I think, I mean, well, I think I have to wait till winter, but also I think I have to go up, but anyway, there are all kinds of, like, dumb reaction images that are of Nia, oh, I was trying to jump around him, Okay, let me try to get another mecha mining. Yeah. I don't know why, I feel like I saw that something needed it. Or something else needed it. But I think I saw the cannon brawler and the slime knight. And I know I used up my mecha mining. Yeah. Anyway, uh I like it when people <laughs> take cat reaction images and then replace them with Nia or Mio or whoever other cat girls too far from that season right because I think it's autumn brings up the magnetism and all that and then yeah I don't think there's cumuluses around so Plenty of Cyclowns. Mm. I guess I'll just go inside. This way. So I'm not going to walk all the way around again. <coughs> Get a restless armor at least. In. Okay, then die. I think 14 is updating right now. I think it's start maintenance. I know it starts at 2 a.m., but I can't remember if it's tonight or tomorrow night. Because I was just thinking I have to, um, Oh, it has to be now because the uh, it says 15th to the 16th. Yeah. Uh, 2 a.m. to 2 a.m. It'll probably end earlier though. Uh, but yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't set my um crafts for my island this week. So uh. Like, I always have Monday as a rest day, because, like, I was following this guide, uh, and I follow this guide. I'm in the, like, the Discord for Island Sanctuary stuff, and, uh, <laughs> there's a, like, a bot that, like, tells you, like, oh, you know, this is the ideal things to craft or whatever. And so I follow that for the most part and then fill in whatever I need for my felicitous favors. Um, but, uh... 
it always has you skip Monday, like rest on Monday. Uh, so that's what I do. But anyway, um, I don't have Tuesday set up, so I'm going to miss a couple hours of Tuesday. If I Oh, that's a huge egg. I'll miss a couple hours of Tuesday if the servers don't come up till 2 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, if they come up earlier, I'll try to hop on and fix all that. Because, uh... Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to miss... I'm going to have plenty of calories, blue calories, and nothing to spend them on. Uh, but I still want them. I was going to say, what else do I need? I have notes here for that. So we have the Cyclone. We have the Restless Armor. We need a She Slime and a Q Mollus. Uh, I'm going to go back outside just in case the weather changed and Q Molluses have spawned for some reason. The season takes so long. I have the seasonings, but I don't want to waste them just to get a Cumulus. But it's like, what else am I going to use them for, right? That's what they're for. <coughs> it's changing the season. Either to get monsters or, you know, to explore the map. Okay, whatever. I know where to get some she slimes. Uh, here. Zoom. At least, I don't know if it's a seasonal thing, but I know there's a she slime that sits in the donut right outside of the tower. Come here. Perfect. I should get another one of those Goonash goodies, too. <laughs> oh, I should get one of those candy cats because I never had one before. So close. <laughs> There's no way he doesn't join. Okay. You're one of us now. I kind of wish these monsters had like descriptions, like how Pokemon have Pokedex entries. Like if there was a bestiary, yeah, like that had like a little, you know, a little description. Oh. Okay. So this one is like actually way bigger than. The one that I have. Like the one that I have is large and big, but this one is like like 50% bigger than the one that I have. I wonder if I can get one that big on my own or if I have to like recruit that one specifically. the she slime so all that's left is the cumulus but i think i'll just like when the season changes teleport over see if they spawn if not then go back The farthest I've been on this island is right here. <laughs> uh, and I think I want to, I'm going to catch this shamwich or sham hamwich, ham shamwich, sham shamwich. What is it? Sham hat witch. <laughs> yeah. We'll try to catch it. <laughs> I 
or scout it, I guess. Scouting and synthesizing, not catching and breeding. Alright, they want to die. Nice. We don't need the buffs. Owned. You will never have a turn. <clears throat> the scaling on the on the levels. They went from one to seven in one battle. And then seven to eight in the next. But I think I might have that first whatever put them on. Like, put them to seven. Uh, might have been, like, more enemies in the fight. Sham Hat Witch. Yeah. Now. There's like this spot on my hand, like on my thumb. Keeps itching. Kill them. I think I would order them more often if you could like set, like, I don't know, if it would remember your cursor, like, if there's cursor memory, so I could just, like, hit A all the way through all of them, uh, to pick, like, the same moves, or if you could, like, set up a, like, set of, like, I want you to do this, uh, you know, like, make different sets of, like, you know, <clears throat> I want the cat to do this, other cat to do this, the slime to do this, Iron Maiden to do this, and then, you know, like, make multiples of those. So it's like... I don't know what you would call it. What's the word? I want to say playlist, <laughs> but that's not the word for it. I don't have one of these, so I guess just try catch one. Scout one. Anyway. Oh. I guess I'll auto battle until there's one left. Catch whichever one survives. Why oomph him? They both die, oh well. If one survives. He will be ours. Never mind. Smelling salts. I was like, what item dropped? I was mashing too fast. <laughs> no. No! I would like just realize it right when. A shadow. Should go check on the cumuluses. Yeah. I didn't want to bother fighting this because of that. I don't want to waste like a million turns. Okay, good. <laughs> See, I don't want to waste a million turns. One of us now. Missing and waiting for the miss, like the accuracy down to go away. What the? 
Do they always do that? Yes. <laughs> Ew, lips. Look at them. And uh, they're like... Uh, that was cute. They're like in order from tallest to smallest. Cool. Okay. Alright, let me, uh... Just check real quick. No cumuluses, I come right back. Pretty sure they're winter, though. Oh, nice. They are here. Low times on some of these battles. A little too long. Yeah. Good. Getting kind of hungry. But I want to get through this part at least. Well, and whatever's next. I feel like I need to... To see... Also, I wonder what was up with all those memories in that warden place. Or the jail. Because, like... I was thinking all these places were going to be connected like that. Uh, and they haven't been. kind of want to grab that slime... Just because it would be easy. I think it'll be easy. I don't know. It might not. Now. It's not. It's better be a level 30 slime. You're one of us now. 17. A level 17 slime. It could be my reputation in this area too, but I don't know. It's a slime. How hard can a slime be to catch? I feel like exploring the map in this season isn't a good idea because this is the season of piles. <laughs> Saber coming just beating everyone up. I don't want to go this way yet, because there's... Oh, I guess I have to, because I'll come out on the other side. I was going to say, I want to see the rest of the map, but... This is the way to the rest of the map. <coughs> El Fayum. Fayum? Fayum? Nadiria's Premier Holiday Resort. Do they know this place is flooded? It's a blue fright bulb. Gleaming Grotto. Hmm. Hoping for a mini metal. Maybe that one? This is a tuna. Oh. 
Just like when I laid my laid first laid eyes on my wife. What you got? Cacti ball. Weaken beacon. I don't have a cacti ball. Don't even know if I have the option to make one if I wanted to. Nice. I don't know how many I have now. Nine? Oh, wait, that'll be ten. Because I only needed four more. Uh, I want to change my outfit. I was wearing this one. I might stick with the everyday outfit for a little bit. This is too much. <laughs> and I don't like the cake maker's clopper. Wait, what about just regular one? Mm, I do like it. I do like all of them except for the cake one. Oh, I should put my money away. Oh, it had a whole song to sing. Oh, I, I guess, well, I probably had around 3,000 when I lost to that one dude. Percival. I couldn't remember his name. I remember Barbatos. Oh wait, nah. Not yet. Aha. Oh, can I open those? I realized after I jumped that those were there. Oh, come on. Off of my nose. Itching again. Dude, stop grabbing the ladder. I'm trying to jump and then go, but... Oh, I'm trying to also just stand at the edge. Okay. I can't open these. Lame. All that work. I guess this guy is, like, naturally tall. I would say the one that I made... It was pretty tall, but this one's like probably just as tall. Anyway, I guess opening those chests wouldn't make sense anyway, because that's my money that I'm putting in there. Uh, okay, so I need Cacti Ball. Pantaractic crystal in the gleaming grotto, would you? Yes. <coughs> uh, well, since I'm here, I guess I can go see if I can make um, a cacti ball. I feel like I would have the recipe or the uh, like synthesis recipe. I don't know. Saying recipe is weird. Talking about living creatures here. Whoops. I said alphabet. Oh, I guess it's because I have it on descending. I was like, I put it on alphabetical and it starts at the, the backwards. Starts backwards, okay. I was gonna say, there's no cacti ball, but maybe they do separate them like this. Still no cacti ball. Huh. Come again. Uh, are my monsters at 10? 
No. Oh, some of them are. Spinchilla is not. Uh, well, I don't want to spend time breeding right now. Maybe I, I'll grab that model she sign or whatever. But that's it. Unless there's something cool that shows up after doing that. Uh, wait, what does it do? Hi. <laughs> Everything but agility. Or only agility. I mean, HP and MP is fine too. Uh, Enigma. Weak to earth and dark. So I should get Zam Ward. Then what? Its stats kind of suck for anything offensive, but I don't really have anything but. I guess I could get this and do like intense. Well, even that sucks. Defensive too. It's just fast. <laughs> or will be fast. So, like, more dances would be a good idea. I'll just grab Slimer? I don't know. Whoops. Does that give me anything new? Hard-boiled exoskeleton. Oh, shadow slime. Uh, okay, is it? It's not a slime in a shadow. Metal slime knife. I mean, I can make them not gold. Rank C. I wonder if part of why I can't see some of them is my rank's not high enough. So I guess I can just make this right now. It already has crack aficionado. But... Then I could all I could just start with demon all the way up to demon demeanor. But the other one doesn't really appeal to me. I'd rather have MP booster. And then I combine this guy. Oh, he's sparkling. Uh, with Hell Nino and get something cool. I'm gonna keep this avian android. It looks cool. I thought I was just gonna get the model she slime and now I'm synthesizing again. I can't help it. It's just I like this part of the game so much. Who's this guy? Tundraxter. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean it could just be. I don't have Okay, never mind. I was like, I don't have him leveled up, leveled up high enough. Wait, what does this guy want? Oh, Hawkman. Okay. Yeah, once I get Hawkman up, I'll uh, get this dude. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, I need another she song for this. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it was a behemoth she slime that made the model she slime. I was gonna say, didn't I use my she slime already? So he's tanky. All about buffs. And it's tanky. It has a lot of MP, too. I feel like it might be a better idea to go with this exoskeleton. Oh, I guess not. I thought it would be tanky or something. It has kabuff. Wisdom and MP. I think I want something that would give it like some kind of spell set. Like that could be okay. I don't know. I want that fromage fray because it doesn't have that like magic one. So I gotta get another one of those. This dude. Oh, right. Got Blade Maven. Oh, what if I make a big one? He doesn't need wisdom or anti magic. I feel like I'm trying to avoid taking stuff from the restless armor. Oh, I guess the avian android could be okay. give it up though I like it he has hatchet man but he doesn't have assassin stab help splitter slime squisher anchorman stomp okay that could be good actually maybe I do that and then just get another <clears throat> another avian android later So give him Hulk and Assassin. I don't want to give it up, but I have to. It looks so cool, I want it back. I should get a new one. We're gonna pick it up in a... Mole hole. But I felt like I had to create this just to see what it would unlock for me. Nothing. I, I mean, I guess I can just make another one. Oh, cyber slime. <laughs> oh, dark hair. Skellyfish. 
cool. I lost my gold version of this guy. Tuskateer. He is too buff. Sweaty Yeti. Ew. Kisser. Oh wait, maybe those lips that were running around weren't lips and they were kissers. Oh. Gander. Also, that blue one and then that other guy, Duffer. Eileen and Duffer. What happened to them? Noble gas bag on. Uh, what was I looking at? Make another avian android. Oh, Jester Slime. Flutter Slime. Really high MP and Wisdom. I mean, it's high stats or MP and Wisdom compared to everything else. I keep saying really high, but I don't know if that's actually that high because there's plenty of room for more stars, I guess. I think I make my own fromage prey. Oh no, it has stony slasher. What had the oh is that one little like flying magician guy? I guess I can't craft craft. Make one whatever. Uh unless they're in the gold actually. Oh yeah. This guy, Blinkster. He has the magic maven. <clears throat> okay. What what would I want? Agility and maybe an attack line. Why did I need a cyclone? He has the agility booster. Wait, why did I need a Cyclone? Need a cyclone, or did I just catch one for for fun? Was it for this? Has to be for this other mina. Clockwork cuckoo. It's tanky. But I don't want that anymore because I want another avian android. Two again. Wind. I 
If I can get, if I could get that Blade Maven thing on it, that'd be sick. But I think I just do this. They both have Woosh Aficionado. I could make it a little bit tankier, I guess, but no reason. Just grab this. Maybe we'll get a bigger one. Or a smaller one. I. It looks like it might be a little bit bigger. Okay, someone has to go. This guy. Even though he has a sparkle. Uh, that's it for now. Come back after this next boss. Cactaball. I have no idea how I would get that. Like, I don't know, a plant and a material. But I feel like it would have shown up on the list somewhere if that was going to happen. Juked. Also pick up some monster manure. Oh. oh. I thought it went away. Oh well. Perish. Kind of looking forward to... Uh, Getting rid of the cat. Also, she used that MP drain to give up half her MP just to refill it. <laughs> okay. The green dude, I already forgot his name, is breedable. <laughs> I guess I should, I should just keep going this way. Fine, I wanted to go the way that's not going to get me to uh, whatever I'm supposed to do. What? Dodged. I need one of these. Nothing over here. I think I'm supposed to go here on a different season so I can cross that. What? It's not like, like, I keep playing it like Pokemon because uh, when there's an item you don't have to like walk over it you just have to get real close to it and you'll pick it up uh, and I keep doing that where I like go to like how close I would be if I was playing Pokemon like I would just like do like that and pick it up in Pokemon but in this game that's not close enough looking forward to seeing what this season looks like because 
It was blue like water last season. Oh, now it's like reddish pinkish sand. I was trying to catch one of these. Um. So yeah, I don't. I like to see. Why does she keep doing that? I need to tell her to not do that. Don't kill him. Okay. It's it's they're both like on the lower side too. I don't want to tell her not to do it though, because like, it will be useful, and I don't want to forget to turn it back on. Hurry up, Autumn, what do you got? I feel like I don't want to go much farther until I see. That's why I didn't want to go. Chocolate, or well, it looks chocolatey, I guess. Oh, but I guess I can't. That guy jumped so high. I can go inside. This also reminds me of 14. Reminds me of the void in 14. Like the little, uh. Dodged? Um. Oh, what is that? Garuda. Now. That also reminds me of 14. <laughs> nice. You're one of us now. You go away. Oh, cool. Leave me alone, Slime. I gotta look at this. Shooting stars, constellations. That's pretty cool. This reminds me of Xenoblade 2. Or no, Xenoblade 1. Well, and 2, I guess. They both kind of have something like that. But one has like Aha. Satoru Marsh and um, the uh, where the high end here live. I can't remember what it's called. Earth Sea. Ah. I guess I can catch another one of those, but uh, I'll wait till later. So how do I get up there? Do I have to wait till winter? Is the water coming back in winter? I wasn't expecting to find one out here. I feel like I always find those inside. Like in the towns and things, villages, whatever. Are they summoning something? Now. I was talking about the uh, yeah, 14 is like patching now, they're like updating it. The servers are down, um, but uh. 
it's it's a 24 hour maintenance which is like long uh but they're upgrading the japanese equipment like hardware uh or the servers like the stuff that hosts the japanese servers uh so the servers and whatever other equipment um but uh i i don't know i mean i guess it's to like i i say why not just like have japan down for 24 hours and everyone else gets to play but it's probably connected in a way that doesn't allow for that or or like um they they want it to be fair and probably also uh don't want like japanese players changing servers like congesting basically all the other servers uh because i'm sure a lot of people would do that oh, oh is that a cacti ball no As soon as it turned, I was like, no, it is not a ball. Leafy Larrikin. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm sure a lot of people playing on the Japanese servers would hop over to the other ones before the maintenance so that they can play during the maintenance. Cool. Maybe. If there's something down here. What's the point of all this? Oh, that's the point. Waterproof amulet. Oh, rubber amulet, zap ward, splish ward. Who would want that? Nobody? Nobody's weak to water or electric. Sometimes when I like, I don't know, Spongebob, I, like I don't know if I would call it Spongebob brain rot, but uh, like if there's like stars in the sky and things like that, sometimes that's stupid. The Texas episode of Spongebob pops into my head with the part where they're like, the stars at night, the stars at night, the stars at night are dull and dim whenever they have to be over dumb old stupid Texas. Uh, so they're making fun of like I think it's just like Texas is anthem or whatever or something I don't know because it's also in the Pee-wee movie yeah. Pee-wee's Big Adventure uh, where he's like he's on the phone with like Dottie or someone and he's trying to prove that he's in Texas uh, or he's like I'm in Texas and she's like I don't yeah. believe you or whatever and he's like no watch and then he like gets like Pulls the phone away and like yells out the, the phone booth and he's like, the stars at night are big and bright or whatever. And then all the people like are like, deep in the heart of Texas. And it's like this whole stupid, I don't know, it's funny. Uh, but every time, I don't know, whenever I think of stars and like look at constellations and stuff. And I think like, wow, the stars are bright. That's like both of those come into my head. But the Spongebob won the most. Because, uh... Has, uh <coughs> I don't know, Spongebob is... I don't know, man. I feel like everyone around my age... I've talked about this with Akira, I think. Uh, but we're like, dude, it feels like everyone around our age has the same, like... I don't know. Not memory of Spongebob, but like... If something... If something was like in Spongebob or or even like if something happens in real life or someone says something that was like ever in Spongebob that's like the first thing everyone thinks of is like haha that's like in Spongebob or that reminds me of that bit from Spongebob or whatever and it's just like 
Universal. <laughs> SpongeBob is universal. Oh. I don't know if this map is actually bigger than the other ones, but it... Ooh. I don't like that. That's going to be, like, one of the bosses, and, uh... I already have one, so I don't need, uh... To fight this guy. At all. Because I don't need... Whatever experience he's got. <laughs> That's all I'm going to get. Do I have to drop into the pit and go around? No. Also, he's gross looking. I don't like... I don't like that the cauldron is a part of his body. Okay. Oh. Come on. I want to wait till. Yeah. Winter is coming. Uh, okay. The river doesn't fill up, it looks like. But the call dragon is down there now? So maybe that wasn't like a mini boss call dragon. That was just like a big one. Well, no, they don't do that though. Or at least I don't think they just spawn a random big one. I mean, it could just be, yeah, like I said, it could just be a big one on that map, on the map there. Uh, I'm not sure. Like, I want to look around to see what else changed. I see, like, ice steps over here. Oh, yeah. Okay. The Celerotonics. I feel like they... They go a little too hard with the names of these things sometimes. Cut it out. No way. How am I supposed to get up there? This doesn't actually, like, let me get up there unless I have to do... Some weird platforming here. Uh, another game. Another JRPG with platforming. Why do they like that so much? I think I'm just not supposed to go that way. But I, I can't make that jump across. I don't... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just bait? I don't know. I know there's more, like, way over there, but I'm not going to go over there. Um. <clears throat> oh. Maybe I have to wait for spring. Like, maybe stand on those and then wait for spring or something, and it'll lift them. I don't know. Oh, wait. These crystals are new. Because there was only the blue ones before. something else huh that musty odor lets you know the place has history <laughs> and a hoard of hidden treasure hmm? did that stone just move yes <gasps> behind you Oh, okay. Run for your lives. Okay. We can take them. It's 
funny because I was just thinking, I was like, all right, after this cutscene, I'm gonna get up and go to the bathroom. Come on, we'll have to head deeper in. Cause I can just stand there and not get attacked by anything, and then we can't even finish the cutscene before we're attacked by something. Uh, excuse me, <clears throat> my eye, dude. It feels like there's an eyelash in my eye. Those guys don't know when to quit. Um, which is annoying because there was an eyelash. Like my eyelid itched earlier, and I was like, it feels like an eyelash is trying to fall out. So I went to the bathroom to look, and there was an eyelash that was like, it was like on this side of my eye, but it was like curled up like on my lower eyelid like coming out and in like that and uh i was just like so annoyed because like it's supposed to be curled down and it's like turned and curled up and in because it's like loose or it was loose and somehow got like moved up like that because yeah because then i like went and like grabbed it and it just like came out it wasn't even like i didn't even have to pull or anything like i didn't have to pluck it out moving before they spot us it just came out. Anyway, eyelashes are extremely obnoxious. I hate them. Uh, I will always... Ooh, <gasps> cute. Uh, I will always complain about them. Okay, so that's the way we came from? Or what? Is it just a thing of, like, I have to... Oh. I have to avoid them? Uh... Whenever they're around, this is where I came from. I guess this is the only way, because... Stop, I already have you guys. All that cutscene and stuff. All those golems chasing me just for them to uh, not be here anymore. <laughs> they could have at least had them walking around or something. You know, be enemies that are like really strong. Alright, I'm going to go use the restroom. I'll be right back.
I have to see what's at the top of this. Okay, good. I was like, there better be something, and it's not just like a way, a shortcut back. Stardust earrings. Agility and HP. Hmm. Yeah. Because she loses the defense and the... What's the cold one? Or was it the Frizz Ward? Yeah, she loses the Frizz Ward. Which... Kind of bad, because she is weak to fire, I think. Yeah. But she'll be fine. Plus the agility makes her... Uh, Fandango stronger, right? Yeah. I gotta start dumping them into this. Where's Warcry? Oh, a stun. <clears throat> I was like, wait, where's Assassin? The talent is Assassin and the skill itself is Assassin staff. Anyway. Just make them even. getting hungry but it sucks because I don't want to stop playing and I'm probably I'm not gonna stop yet but I don't know like I like this game I don't want to stop playing it yet you got me I think I can try to catch another Draki I guess because yeah. I don't think I have one but no I do I mean, now I have two, I guess, but. You're one of us now. Because I was going to say, actually, I do because there's that Dracolite or whatever. And it says I need a Draki and something else. Uh, and I'm pretty sure the Draki is like filled in. The sleeping saber cubs. I love them. That's be where I have to go, right? Yeah, cave of crystals. So. Are they floating? More panaceas.
Pretty pebble. What's the strong one that I kept finding? The rock bomb shark. Okay, I have a couple more. I was going to say I had four the last time I checked. I was going to... Checking to see if I got any more. Uh, those are busted. Like can you feel Pokemon. the magic coming off this thing? Let's grab all we can. Uh oh. This guy's gonna terastalize on us. What the heck? Since <laughs> when did crystals know how to move? <laughs> Here he comes. Must obey. Is he supposed to kill all elves? Interactic Guardian. Let's see. Can be put to sleep. He can be stunned, but he's resistant. Can be poisoned. Can be blinded. Lowering his attack. He's weak to having his attack lowered. Resistant to electric. <clears throat> Immune to MP drain lane. Can we put to sleep? Okay. Can be confused. So don't do water. Wait, is it just physical attacks that are really strong against him? That was huge. Or is it just like the attack attacker that is like really strong? Attack attacker is just really strong. I'm gonna try it again. Okay, clean dodge. That could have been bad. I should have buffed himself. Okay, maybe it was just a crit. It didn't I didn't see the crit come up. No. Why she do that?
the last. No, I should buff. Oh wait, Oomph doesn't buff magic. I guess I could be doing this to try and stun him in between. Oh, I forgot he has heals too. Owned. It's two in a row that she's done that. Or well, killed with Fandango. The last time she she got two turns and did it. What? He has a little pouch it. on his leg. Man, this is awesome. This is beyond awesome. This brings us one step closer to the secret of evolution. Let's get it to Dr. Helix Helix Stat. I forgot that's... Yeah, we were doing that, but the other ones were like optional, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Rose. Ah, uh, don't tell me you're gonna cry. You don't want to be mobbed by a bunch of greedy bozos, do you? Toilin, you know about our ruby tears. Getting a hold of elven tears is the quickest way to get rich. Everyone knows that. So no waterworks. You got it? Now, let's head back to the lab. What? Why wouldn't he want her to cry? Isn't that his whole deal? Making girls cry? No, stealing? I mean, I guess it wouldn't be stealing the tears, but... Okay. Annoying. My head just like itched really bad underneath the headband. Oh, oh, yes, this is it. Now I can make the sands of time. Uh, Dr. Helix Helix, do you think I could, you know, help out? No. No. <laughs> but you may watch in silence. Behold, the sands of time. The secret of evolution is within my grasp. Wow, you did it! <laughs> nice going, Doc. And it looks like there's plenty to go around. Out of the question. Do you think I would mm -hmm. share this with a buffoon such as yourself? Ah. Regardless, I do owe you my thanks. The secret of evolution need be a distant dream no longer. When the time is right, I shall contact you via helipad, and together we will witness history in the making. 
Okay. Well, I guess there's nothing for it but to head back to Rose Hill and wait. Fine. I actually want to go to the well. I mean, maybe we can go to the Coliseum. I was say I want to go to the Coliseum and uh, see how far I can get with this team. Oh, I can't actually go back to Rose Hill. They want me to go to the tower and then like. Probably have to like go interact with the uh, travel light stuff. Well, let me challenge this first. Make sure everyone spent their points and has correct instructions. I only want him to do this after kabuffing, but I'm afraid he'll do it without kabuffing. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it down like that. Okay, tactics. Um, I kind of want to say support your allies, but the King Slime should be able to hold, like keep up. No, let's support do it. So we get the oomphs going around too. This old guy can keep doing this thing. If they'll let me even challenge it. Do you want to enter? Is that my opponent? Yes. Introduce the new challengers for the Molosseum's Category D tournament. First up, it's the silver-haired superstar who's the talk of the town, the Cryptic Kid. I like how disinterested he is. It's so good. Oh. And his opponent is Putty, Putty, Uzi, pudding like and Stutty, the indomitable Gooey Louie. Gooey Louie. Our first match that metal sign. On your marks. Get set. I mean, we got Frizz, so it might not be a big deal. And it's a metal slime knife, so I don't think it's the same. No. Okay, they're really fast. Maybe I'm not ready for this. That was good. Why isn't he buffing? Why did he do that? See, that's why I, that's why I wanted to turn that down. Just gonna get himself killed. Why are you buffing him? I am so annoyed. He didn't kabuff. He hasn't kabuffed at all, and he's been doing his selflessness. Like, dude, I love that. She's just constantly stunning him. Finally. 
but now heal yourself? Good. Somebody heal somebody. Oh, is that why he doesn't want to heal? Because he's like, I'll just heal from my miraculous touch. I doubt that, but. Okay, we recovered. I mean, we weren't. Uh, I would say we weren't in danger of losing. I mean, we kind of were, but. Like, if they would have killed the King Slime or somebody, it could have gone real bad. Don Quixote, who's literally flogging a dead zombie Hote. Zombie Hote. Uh, like as soon as I saw him, I was like, "What's the pun?" And I knew. Get ready for match two. On your marks, get set, go. He has a cool skelly fish that I want. Bro, they're so fast. Please come off us. I don't say please, not my cat. Please pick him up. He could have done. Please pick up the cat. Dude, she's so good. King Slime is out. <laughs> as soon as we can replace him, he's gone. He's a moron. Also, I'm tired of him. Finally. And it failed! Stop oofing him. He's not going to do anything. That's so good. Why would he not zing again? Nice. Why would she not? Fandango. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna switch the king to uh, heal. Because he obviously doesn't know what supporting allies is. <laughs> Dude, she's so good. Can you just not revive your monsters in this or what? Or does he just suck that bad? All of them. She's so good. Okay, it, he was just bad at landing it. Yeah, I should just leave him on healing. Because <laughs> he'll do the other things after, you know, prioritizing the healing. He's not even healing. Once again, what a victory. I've never seen a battle quite like that. His next opponent will bite your arm off for a chance to bite your arm off. It's Miss <laughs> Leeds! Oh, 
Was that on the right? Have you caught your breath yet? Because it's time for the final showdown. On your marks, get set, go. Okay. That's not fair. I should have started with. Oh my god. Should have had the king. King Simon start with the. Oh! There he goes. I was gonna say, you should have had him start with support your allies so you could kabuff like that, but he did it for me. Oh, Brawly Gagger is the umbrella thing. Oh, great. That's scary. He instantly kills us. Why is she not? Just use the Fandango. Maybe if I turn everything down except Fandango and then put her on, weaken the enemy. Too scary. Oops. That's so good. She's so good at like the dance, like stunning and sleeping them and all that. Why does she not fend Dango? Maybe she's trying to save the MP for it? I don't know. I mean, I guess I could tell her, like... I could do... I probably should change her tactics. Once she does, like, the sweeping stuns and sleeps and stuff, just switch her to... Attacking. Oh, there she goes. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. She's so good at finishing fights with that. Even though it does so little damage. I mean, the total is pretty decent, but... Did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> the Category D Champion is... The Platinum Stallion with his own monster battalion! <laughs> the Cryptic Kid! Let's hear it! That guy's good. The voice acting in this game is good. I, I keep saying it, but like, I don't know. It's annoying. It's frustrating that like, what is Pokemon Stupendo doing? Stupendo stuff! You're a born winner! Here, take your Category D prize. Bumper bonus You're ball. really gooing up in the world. Everyone will know who you are before long. I kind of want to try the C rank if it lets me, but uh, let me check on this guy first. Wait. He just gave me a metal slime? For free? Cool. Pop idol scroll. Uh. Now I want to go see what I can make with that. <laughs> Do you want to enter? Oh, king metal slime. Come back. How much does that cost? A thousand.
This might be... You know, too hard, but I do want to see how far do I can go. I wasn't paying attention to my turn count on that last fight, because that might get me, actually. It might take me too long to kill, even if I survive. His opponent hails from hell's most horrifying hollows, but he still pays heed to your happiness. <laughs> it's the well -being. The well-being. Our first bout is set to begin. On your marks, get set. Uh, let's leave it like that. Excuse me? Please pick her up. Good. Good. Now she can just survive until she gets a turn. Good. I'm gonna keep having her be offensive though, cause... Or not be offensive. Stay on like the debuffs. Uh... Until we get like a sleep or something. Like everyone asleep, not just that one guy asleep. But this is good. We've got control. I think we're fine to just keep pushing through like this. Can't really see myself losing at this point. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> when he did that, I was like, okay, wait, actually. I mean, as long as the King Slime doesn't die, doesn't die we're probably fine. I probably should have set the cat to heal instead of. Oh. Meowgician to heal. Man, I thought these guys would be closer to dying than they are. Yeah, see, this is around 10 out of 20, so, like, Support your action. I feel like the third fight might not be doable in time. make Fandango strong. I feel like it should be doing more than that. 
I know she doesn't have like a lot of agility, but okay, that's not good. No, kill the other guy. Please kill him. Cause if he does his AOE move, okay, we're fine. Maybe he didn't have the AOE move. Someone had an AOE move that did like a hundred, uh, and that was scary. And him being buffed up twice like that could have been real bad. Our first winner today is the Cryptic Kid. He's reliable, undeniable, with a pedigree that's verifiable. <laughs> Give it up for the Cryptic Kid. His next opponent is a mad machine made to Killatron. Break, eliminate, and then exterminate. Killatron. Whoa, that guy's cool. It's time for our second match. On your marks, get set. The one next to the Kill. dragon. I'm just gonna feed my Snorlax and start to stupid uh, Pokemon sleep before the day rolls over and I miss my day. Um, do that. Do that. Go. Maybe we should keep Meowdition on an offense until we need him. So that's annoying. Can I get a kabuff? Can we get a kabuff? I feel like a kabuff would have been more valuable. Valuable there. I'm afraid to tell him to support. Because he's just going to do selflessness and kill himself. I'm afraid to look away because I don't want to miss. Why would she do that? I, mean, I guess it's okay. Somebody help him? Nice. I feel like this one's not as scary as the last one. Yeah. He's landing those very cleanly. It's cool that my King Slime Takes advantage of the turn where everyone's stunned or asleep. But uh I would prefer if he uh buffed us. It's just one cub buff. That self heal on the cat, so good. He's running out of MP. Auto restore. None of them are dying. It's not good. I feel like I need more AoE damage. But I think all we have is the Zapple right now. On King Slime.
please. Nice. Why is he? Oh, he's out of MP. I was gonna say, why is he attacking? My cat's about to die. The Meowgician. And he's not healing himself. I don't think I would have to tell him. Uh, I guess I'll just do that. Well, how much does, um, Kabuff cost? Four. Oh, hopefully he doesn't do the selflessness, though. <laughs> he shouldn't. Oh my god. I didn't even realize he was so close. Okay. Since he has no more MP, there's no reason not to just have him... Because the cat can carry the healing for now. Uh, I mean, cool. I gotta... Calculate this dumb meal I'm about to feed him, because, uh... We got a kill. How many turns left? Two more turns. This is why they put a turn limit, because they know... <laughs> if you have, like... I don't know. Get enough support, you can stall your way to victory. This should have been mine. I could do this if I didn't have a turn limit. Last round. They should score it. <laughs> they should be like, okay, it's the end of, you know, it's round 20. Who, who has who left? No, I've been overpowered. No, I haven't. My money. Losing's never pleasant, is it? You'll just have to dust yourself off and try again. So does the other guy lose too? I'm like curry. Okay, so I'm, I don't know if I want to use items in Pokemon Sleep. I need to, like, set up connecting my phone to my PC so I could show you. But, uh, <clears throat> I need five honey and two apples to make this meal that I've never made before. But, uh, I don't know if I want to use items to do that or if I just want to, uh, go with something that I can make. I think I'm going to use items until I have enough. Or until I get full on um, ingredients. <laughs> oh, I got the honey. So I just need... Apples. And I got them. Cool. Okay, I can make this meal. <laughs> just, just a minute.
I made a meal earlier, and uh, I hit like 52,000, which is the highest I've ever hit. Uh, so I wanna, I wanted to make sure I made a big meal and then added like as many ingredients as I could. Uh, but I have to hit the um, like the bonus. Cause I, I don't know, I guess it was like what, 14,000 points worth of a meal and I hit the bonus and it tripled to 52. Yeah, it hit the bonus this time. 17,000, that would have been, what? No wait, 14 times three is 42. So it must have been, what? Yeah, like 17 or 18, between 17 and 18,000. So this meal was like just about the same. Uh, okay, whatever. Zoom. We won one tournament. We could have won that one too if uh, there wasn't a turn limit. Actually, maybe turn three wouldn't, or round three wouldn't have been uh, doable. <laughs> also, making that meal was kind of a waste. If I would have hit the bonus, maybe it wouldn't have been a waste, but, uh, my Snorlax just ranked up, so he's, like, far away from, like, he's a little less than halfway to the next rank, so, yeah, making that meal like that was kind of a waste, because even if I would have hit the bonus, he still would have been just, like, just barely short of going to the next rank. I do that all the time, though. Well, not all the time, but there have been multiple Sundays where I go to feed him his last meal, and I'm like, I dump everything into it because I'm like, it's the last day. I might, I might as well dump all the ingredients, and then I'm like, wait, no, he just ranked up, and it's going to take, like, 50,000 points to get to the next rank. So, like, even if I hit the bonus on this meal, I probably won't um, rank up because usually I'm, like... I have like smaller meals or whatever. <laughs> anyway. Back to the real game. I'm so hungry. And I'm afraid they're going to do something annoying here. Not like actually annoying, just like... Something's gonna happen to Rose, and I'm gonna be mad. So I'm gonna go talk to her before we walk outside. Please. No, and then she says something like that. Sable will tell me these carefree days will last forever. Been feeling rather un run rather uneasy of late. <laughs> exactly. Death flags. Oh. Wait, I wanna... I just wanna look. I'm not gonna do any... Breeding, because I don't have time for that now. I wanna finish up tonight. Like, I wanna see the next story beat. Liquid metal slime. Two metal slimes. I can do that. I can do that. Oh. Okay, I uh, have to resist. I really wanted to make this and go through all that, but I don't. Uh, I'm surprised. Well, I guess maybe two liquid metal slimes will make... Or maybe it'll be like a king metal... King liquid metal slime? I don't know. Because this was from two... Bubble slimes. Right? Oh, no. A bubble slime and a behemoth slime. So wait, then maybe this and a behemoth slime. Liquid metal slime and a behemoth slime. Or a metal behemoth slime. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Uh, I'll probably have all that stuff tomorrow. Or, I mean, I'll probably stream tomorrow. Um, But yeah, whatever. I'm going to do all this synthesizing off stream.
Is my auto save on? Okay. Nothing bad. Or something bad don't be because of toiling. Oh, that's kind of sweet. There's nothing quite like a father's love for his son. Do you know who you're talking next to? <laughs> Toilin? You haven't told us about your family. Well, I had a younger brother. But he was pretty frail from the get-go. We were orphans, you see. The <laughs> way he's looking at him. He got sick. He hates died him. when we were kids. Good. It's like I didn't ask. Say, do you remember when I said we weren't all that different? Well, I know how hard it is to lose a loved one too. Without my brother around, my life felt meaningless. Like if I died in a ditch, who'd care? But that's all changed now. Great. Now that I'm not alone anymore. Why is it making me feel bad? <laughs> hmm? Please? Okay, hold on. Jesus, the internet just went out for like, what, a few minutes? That's so annoying, dude. Like, after... Yeah, and then it restarted my stream too, so it's like... The VOD's gonna be broken up. That's... I... God, I hate Comcast so much. Oh, great, and then I accidentally clicked on... 14. <laughs> Anyway, I don't even know where it cut out, so, <clears throat> but, I mean, I guess I haven't really progressed much. I, as soon as, like, as soon as a little pop-up came up saying OBS trying to reconnect, and I was like, oh, great, I'm dropping frames again. And I went and looked, and I was like, there were no frames to drop. Uh, and then I was like, okay, wait. And I opened a new tab and tried to go to Google, and it's like, nope. And then uh, I just set up a ping to ping Google. I just watched it, and like I pulled out, uh, I opened up the Xfinity, XFi, whatever app, uh, to check for an outage again, because of that outage earlier today, uh, and it was like, your, like, modem, your internet is, uh, disconnected, like, unplug your modem and wait 30 seconds and then plug it back in, and I was like, I'm gonna wait a couple minutes before I do that, just in case it's doing it itself and I don't want to like, like it's already like rebooting and I don't want to start that over. Anyway, uh, it's so annoying because it always has to be like right at the end of the stream so that it's like, I have to download the six hour VOD just to tack on the last like 10 minutes. Anyway. Go with you. But what could oh. this Dragon have to tell us that's so important. Wait, we're going to Zenith. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just say the Zenith Dragon? But isn't he like a god? Let me recruit him. Yes, and that's why we mustn't keep him waiting. So, this teleportal will take us all the way to nice. Zenithia. Okay. I was hoping it would let me let me decide so I could save and quit and then go, but I guess I'll sit through this too. I'm just really, really hungry. And, like, I'm more irritated because... The internet cutting out. That's so frustrating, dude. All these issues. 
like I was saying it last night, but like, and like the last few streams, but like. So we're really here. Comcast is like, hey, here's a new modem. Switch them out and send us the old one. Uh, and then the new one just like all of a sudden our internet quality drops significantly. Like tons of outages or just like disconnects. Frames dropped. I don't know. Very stupid. It's literally just one of those, like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it things. Oh. So Nithian committed the greatest blasphemy, stole what belonged to the gods. Was that Abazel or whatever her name was? He has immense power to bear three beings of corrupt and unholy countenance. So the dr Zenith Dragon killed her. Or defeated her, I guess. She might be alive still somewhere. I'm sure she is. Actually, maybe not, because she has like the three spawn. They're the ones that are probably alive still. And Randolfo is probably one of them. Secret of evolution is the evil of all evils. So we're in heaven and they're telling us evolution is evil. I like how right after we helped that guy discover the secret to evolution, they're like, no one should ever, the secret of evolution must not be passed down. It's, a uh, bad. <laughs> Creatures that were never meant to be born in our world will be born in our world. What's up, Gabby? Still up? Yeah, of course I am. That's... I don't, uh, I don't sleep normal hours. When I can, when I have to work, I have to, like, force myself to try and sleep. I don't have to work tomorrow, though. I guess, like, that's the thing. Maybe you were like, oh, you got up for work. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't have to work today, so I get to stay up. I'm almost done though. Uh, I was gonna quit, but then they brought me here, so I have to like see what this is all about. I mean, I guess I could quit here, but I want to see what this is all about. Not yet. I wonder if they just didn't want to take the time to... Wait. They told me I can't read these books. Oh, okay. It was just the one book that I could read. I was going to say, like, these two angels read the books for me because I could. And then this guy said, you can't read the books. Have them read it for you. Oh. Sparky's birthday, Arifiella. Insulade. Okay, so Azabel or whatever is going to wake up. I'm 
pops in. <laughs> I feel like that's a model you could have loaded in at all times so it doesn't pop in like that. These guys are clones. You. I like how they put the sun there so you have to look at him and the sun is like shining behind. Oh, he is a spawn of blasphemy, so it's not Azabel or Abazel, whatever her name was. He looks stupid. His name is Estark. Oh, Estark. Lord of the Underworld. Before long, he will reawaken, and the world will once again be set on the path to destruction. However, doom may yet be averted with the help of the Chosen. You will join forces with these heroic few to defeat Estark. After which, you must relinquish your monster blood and live as a human. This Good. was your mother's dying wish. Will you honor You never it? finished Dragon Quest? 11, right? That's good. That's long, though. Why am I listening in English? Actually, I don't think... I think there is an option. You cannot hide the truth from me. Uh, but it's good. I don't know. I'm not a weeb. If it's a good dub, I'll listen to it. You intend to subjugate the Lord of the Underworld. Takes too much time, yeah. Him do your I spent a lot of time do doing a not? lot of a lot of the extra stuff in that game too. So still you seek to destroy your father. I see little has changed since first we met. Should you succeed in bringing the Lord of the Underworld under your control? I am afraid I would not take oh, it lightly. He doesn't want me to what? And to complicate matters, you are not the only one who desires his immense. I don't know power. if I want his power. But yeah, Dragon Quest Eleven, uh it's super long. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's super long, but there's a lot. Oh, this guy looks cool. The Omniarch. He rules over all monster kind with a power comparable only to that of Randolfo the Tyrant. Hmm. Henceforth, the feud between humans and monster kind will only intensify until one side is annihilated. But as long as the Chosen live, the monsters have no hope of victory. And yet, you mean to ally with the side that will ultimately lose, do you not? If that is your answer so be it but you must live with the consequences of your decision your rival zangiel resides in diabolic hall on a remote island in the south of terrestria i will enable the teleportal in rose hill hmm. to take you there directly now leave I forbid <gasps> you to ever set foot in Zenithia again. Bro, he projected all of that. We didn't say a single thing. <laughs> all he said is, we want to get rid of our monster blood like our mom. You know, be human like our mom. And then he was just like, oh, so you want to, I don't know, take your dad's power and destroy the world. <laughs> it's like, bro, what?
And then he, yeah, he's like, I'm gonna open up a portal so you can go talk to the evilest man in the world. And, uh, become more evil. What's the big idea, huh? Accidentally walked into pumpkin? Evil. All that stuff with this uh, dragon back there? Our puppy. Serious, he likes to you? run between our feet all the time. So, like, like, sometimes I'll step on him on accident, or, like, I'll hear him, like, yelp from, like, like, I'll hear him, I'll be in here and I'll hear him yelp, and I'm like, somebody stepped on him. Uh, because <laughs> he's, like, he just, like, likes, he likes licking feet, uh, and, like, running between your legs, and so, like, you're just trying to do your thing, and he, like, runs over to try and lick you, or, like, you know, just go between your legs and then get stepped on. You're not really planning to wage war against humanity, right? <laughs> yeah, he's weird. Licking that feet. Me, you know? Uh, I'm not planning to wage war against humanity. Huh. Why did I even ask? That's a lie, and we all know it. And you won't stop at the Lord of the Underworld, will you? You want Zangiel in your ranks as well, right? They're making me be evil. <laughs> How can you be sure you'll succeed? You don't know the slightest thing about him. He's the only thing stopping Randolfo from gaining control over the monsters in Terrestria. They love him! Make an enemy of Zangiel, and you make an enemy of every monster out there. You know, for all our differences, I really thought we understood each other. Is he gonna leave? Come on. There's still time for you to change your mind. Don't start a war against the I humans. said I wasn't going to. <laughs> have the guts to answer I can't talk <laughs> now I know where we stand uh. on opposite sides of the battlefield all right go away we are no longer friends <laughs> I can't even be sure we ever were we weren't friends I hated this guy from the beginning and I still hate him Tyler, come back. <laughs> you, you called master <laughs> Oh, I was just asking about these two. Can it be true? Estark has risen, and the hero who will slay him has come of age. We'll track them down, sire. I'm absolutely sure of it. Oh, see ya. I, uh, <laughs> the only uh, the only question he asked me that I could answer was, "Do you seek to get rid of your monster blood?" And I said yes, or something like that. Uh, and now, all of a sudden, I'm super evil. I'm gonna kill all humans. Like what? What? At least we got rid of Toilin. How long has this guy been here for? Oh. Ew, this is an annoying one. What else has changed? I haven't... I didn't notice, like... Well, I mean, I guess he's the only monster who really ever showed up here, so... I was gonna say, I didn't notice this village gets more populated by the monsters I meet. Anyway, uh, it feels like I'm getting close to the end already. Because, uh, we have to go, I don't know. Like, Estark is here, and we have to go, I don't know, meet with Zangiel, and I don't know, stop him or help him? I don't know. I'm so confused now. I like how so many ladder climb ladder climbing animations in games are like that where it takes them like five seconds to get on the ladder and then they just start climbing it super fast. 
Like, they can't just start climbing as soon as they touch it. They have to, like, get on and get set, and then they can start climbing. Uh, whatever. Anyway. <clears throat> um... What do I do? That's it for tonight. I am very hungry, uh, and it's four something in the morning, four seventeen. So I should go to sleep. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna do a bunch more monster breeding and uh, probably stream. Uh, we'll see. Uh, like I mean, I want to, but I don't know what's gonna. Like, usually I like to not stream Sunday night, because then I get to watch Vinny, but also, like, do my laundry and all kinds of other stuff to prepare for the week. Um, and since I didn't do that last night, because I don't have to work today, uh, I'll probably do all that tonight instead. Um, so, I may or may not be back. Why does she like toiling? Because he's a human that won't kill her. Uh, but yeah, whatever. Anyway. Um, that's it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I might be back tonight. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Either way. 10 hour shift? I wish I had 10 hour shifts. I mean, I guess I have 9 hour shifts. Because uh, I work 8 to 5. Uh, but good luck. Have fun. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day or night. Whatever time it is for you, I'll be back. Um, but yeah. Have fun. Bye. -bye.